Whoop. <laughs> Didn't expect my camera to just do that all of a sudden. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dexter Gravel, and welcome back to my continued first time playthrough of Final Fantasy XIV. And I just figured I'd just be up here, you know, admiring the scenery while I'm just sitting here waiting. So, it's been two weeks. I, w I took the last week off because I wasn't feeling well before I started last stream. So, I've got a lot to catch up on, if you like. But first, what I wanted to do was to see who is joining me for today. Union will be Heavy Hashling. Um, what are you standing on? Are you standing on anything? Right? Oh yeah, you are standing on the very edge of that. Strange, I wasn't expecting that. So, um, yeah, I realized, that, like, literally a few minutes after I ended my last stream two weeks ago that there was something I wanted to, else I could have done, but thinking about it more, I realized, no, it would have taken more than the, what, 20 minutes I had left. So, I'm gonna go do that, what I thought of doing, right now. That thing being... I have actually been up to the next rank of the dealing with the Vath for the past three weeks at this point. Yeah, around that point, around that much. So I'm going to start with whatever is the thing, here, whatever is here now, because I'm realizing, you know, um, I've been checking this every so often and realized I didn't see any other quests available from this aside from the first three. So let's see if we can unlock any more with the Vath Deft Arm with the quest Adventurers Don't Get Cold Feet. The Vath Deft Arm looks to be in high spirits. Whoa. It seemed like it uh, took days for the sun to set when I had no purpose. Now I barely notice until the braziers are lit. Our guild is so busy. Master is so generous to help us with our clients' tasks. And after the guild was constructed, we did not know where to begin. But we watched you, and we learned many things. We traded for cannons and reward we reaped. Traded for cannons? Oh, with rewards we reaped for our colony's defense. Although they are not new, they should work well enough. But there is a problem. We have no fire sand to use them if they are needed. I sought to find sulfur to make our own stock. But the one mine has claimed all the deposits for themselves. And they guard them fiercely. Very fiercely. I asked Marchachamp where else I could procure fire sand. He spoke of a group of fleshlings who slay dragons for the glory. Dragon slayers. They live far in the south and in the land of the hunters called Corthus. Do you know of them? I do know of them. He said these dragon slayers use cannons much like ours, but bigger. Much bigger. Bigger cannons means lots of fire sand, yes? Will you come with me to speak with them? Absolutely I will. Thank you. This will be a long journey for me. Very long. I must prepare. Let us meet at the, meet at the edge of the forest. Okie dokie, friend. Gotta go meet our friend at the edge of the forest. Let's go do that. Come, Markab. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where exactly are we meeting him? Hold on. I didn't even cheat. I didn't even check to see. Uh, oh, over by right where the Western Highlands entrance is. Okay. I can do just that. Although I feel like, hmm, nah. I was gonna say teleporting over to Tailfeather would have taken less time, but thinking about it, I only just realized that, so I'm like, nah, I'm already here, might as well just keep going. Yeah. Meh, oh well. Alright, buddy, I'm pretty close. Where are you at this point? Oh, you're very close to the gate. I'm guessing you're I'm heading right towards where you are at the gate. Oh, I was close. Right on the path, though. Hey, buddy. I am nervous, Master. I have never traveled beyond the borders of the hunter's camp. What awaits us in the south? A lot of cold. I'm not sure if you're going to like it. These whispers. The one mind. Oh, hostile presence. Oh, dear. That's not good. I'm assuming... Nope, wrong one. I wanted to use this. Ow! Don't shoot at me, that's not fun. You're hurt! Stop it! Please! Let me get that going. Oh yeah! I'm back into it with some Yuka Kaze! <laughs> Rushing attacks. And... Gotcha. There we go. Deft Arm, you feeling okay now that the threat has passed? I hope you are. There we go. Ah, forgive me, Master. Their voices, they frighten me. I can understand. My head aches. They drown out my thoughts. I lose the will to move. 
No, no, it is no excuse. All adventurers face many trials. This is my own to overcome. We must proceed on to Corthus. Okay, buddy. Good to know that you're still technically in control. All right, Carbuncle, let's see where we need to go now. Speak of the Vath Theft Arm. Where did it say exactly? West of the Corthus. Oh, literally right here. What a beautiful land. Everything looks so clean. But my body shivers as if I'd fallen in a river. To feel cold all the time. What an unpleasant feeling. Yes, most unpleasant. Let us hurry and find this leader of these dragon slayers. Good idea. Don't want to stick around in the cold too long. All right. Now back to the convictory. That's what I assumed we were going to do. And the convictory is... Still pretty far. About the same distance it would take for me to get to there from... To... I was going to say, from here to there to... From Tailfeather to there, but no, not quite. We've got two fates on the way that we can pass by. One's four minutes left and one's seven minutes left. Not interested in either one today. Hey, Gentilot! Are you over there? Because I apparently need to talk to you instead of the Vath. Where am I going exactly? Aha! Oh, that's right, Gentilot. Okay, so Vath, buddy, Deft Arm, where are you? I don't see you here at all. Maybe I got here before him. An apprentice? Well, well. So, where is this aspiring adventurer? Here he is. D by the fury, an enormous armed crab? I knew this day would come. Tis my reckoning for the many nights I uh, buttered and supped up with skin. No matter, I have no regrets. Um, well, what a strange greeting. I am the Vath Deft Arm, an adventurer who will perform my t any task you require. But I request fire sand as my reward. <laughs> you must be dreaming. A t oh, I must be dreaming. A talking crab and one requesting fire sand at that. <laughs> as you speak as if I have aught to spare. Yes, if this is a waking dream, then I might as well entertain this crab's offer. Slay the lesser dragons which plague our camp at present, and fire sand you shall have. There's little glory for us in slaying such frail fiends, yet you, as a greenhorn, might just find it suitable challenge. But I have never killed a dragon before, even a small one. You said you would perform any task, did you not? I give you my conditions. Go on and rid us of the dragon nuisance. How about a bundle of sapling uh, branches for arrow shafts instead? Surely you are in need of quality arrows to take care of your foes yourself. We have no need for primitive sticks when we can procure the finest arrows from Ishgard. If you would not do a spade, then I have no use for you. Oh, what should I do? I cannot kill a dragon. I could not even face the one mind. Perhaps I cannot be useful after all. Ooh. Oh, what do I say? That's not true, or stop being dramatic. Yeah, uh, stop being true. That's not true. St yeah, stop being true. That's not dramatic. That's probably what I was going to say. <laughs> but he asked an impossible task. How is one of my size able to rid this camp of an entire horde of... But of course, killing the dragons is beyond my skills. But driving them away is the vast specialty. Master, I have a plan. Could I ask you to prepare a fire outside of the camp? I will return once I have found the herbs I need. Okay, looking for herbs? Hmm. Herbs? For burning? I've heard of tales of smoke screens used to keep dragons at bay, but never seen it done. I suppose you'll need some firewood. Oh, you just happen to have some of that on hand? Nice! Okay, build a fire outside of the camp. Oh, literally just outside the camp. That works. I thought it would have been a little bit further. All right, let's play out some chopped firewood.
I see you decided to help. Thank you. Our scouts have spotted a group of lesser dragons approaching from beyond the ridge. Now then, where is that apprentice of yours? No idea, apparently. Except he's right here. Uh, uh, I found them! I found them! Found what? Set these withered herbs ablaze. It will create a thick smoke that offends the senses of dragons nearby. They will have no choice but to retreat. This had better work. If I find you've wasted my time, I shall be most displeased. <laughs> See for yourself. Oh, the same, the same green smoke I've seen before. Oh, this drives away dragons. That's why they keep using it. Unless it brings the dragons to us. That's going to be a problem. Oh. Oh, they don't like it. Ha <laughs> ha It works. By the fury, it does work. The little bastards flitted away with their tails between their legs. My apologies for doubting you, adventurer. We should take as many herbs as you can offer. You will receive due compensation, of course. Fire sand, was it? Yes, oh yes. It is my pleasure to serve. If you would have other tasks for us, please send word to our guild in the west. You have a guild? Excellent, excellent. If it means the convictors will be spared their time to concentrate on the larger threats at hand, you can count on our patronage. Well done, Daft Arm. Well done. Now, can we get some of those herbs to deal with dragons as well? Oh, hi. Didn't mean you didn't see, expect you to be so close. I am glad I did not give up. Although it felt like slaying the dragons would be less work. My, dr my legs grew so cold in those snow, I feared they might freeze and snap. <sighs> Let us return home. I must speak with the storyteller about our new client. Good idea. All right, back to the storyteller. Uh, closest one would be Annex Trine. Maybe it's the closer one. I'm, I'm not sure if that's actually Tailfeather or Annex Trine that's closer. They might be equidistant. Regardless, let's go. Whee! At least I have no more quests here in this land of dragons. At least. Kinda, I think. Or if there is gonna be anything. Oh, wait, there is something available. Ah! There is stuff available, but that's not until later levels for my current class that I'm deciding to use to do side quests with. Yeah, that. Not entirely sure what I was trying to hum there. Hello, Storyteller! The Deft Arm? He has not returned to the colony yet. He was not with you? Uh... Okay, let's go see if we can help him. Oh, you're just outside. What? Why aren't you coming inside? Forgive me, my lateness, Master. I was unsure of the path. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, is the one mind getting to him? Oh, no. Must have been stuck with fear again at some point. Okay, where are you? Oh, there you are. You doing okay, buddy? We have secured such fire sand for our... Uh, much fire sand for our cannons. Much fire sand. The colony's defense will be guaranteed as long as we maintain relations with the dragon slayers. How vast this world is. And I'm hungry to see more of it. But for now, the guild needs tending. Our clients have many tasks for us. Until next time, Master. Nice! First mission of the day complete! Oh, they actually do have cannons now. They're four barrel cannons. Hmm. Uh, little chocobo, this not being it's not really safe up there. I know they're not armed, but still. 
The Convictors are now clients of the Adventurer's Guild. Reputation up. Reputation is increased to trusted. You've uh, active, achieved, not activated, trusted a reputation with the Vath. New Vath tribal daily quests are now available from the Vath Kenai. Awesome! Furthermore, you'll be able to undertake three additional quests from the Vath Kenai as a reputation rank bonus. Ah, so you can do more than just three with them. This bonus is available until the daily t reset time for tribal quests. These additional quests will become available after accepting all current daily quests from the Vath Kenai. Please be advised that you cannot undertake these quests if you have no remaining allowances. Additional quests will be available from after accepting current daily quests? Oh, I see. You'll now have access to a wider selection of wares from the Vast Stick Peddler, too. Ooh, neat. Oh, man, does that mean I have to complete these other three here before I can do the other three new ones? Ah, oh, man. Well, I was hoping I was actually going to be able to just do those immediately, but apparently not. I'd have to wait to complete those. Darn it! Well, I suppose I could... Something I could do for later would be to uh, finish up some of the quests and then start the next three for the next stream. I could do that. I think I'll do that. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. But for now, that's going to be it for the Vath. Because, I was again, I was hoping to get at least the next three done, but I can't for a while. Unless I, you know, start these three now, but we've already done those. So, what I'd like to do instead... Continue the trend of doing other class quests, and the only ones I have left to do are for the caster classes. So, let's start with the summoner. Oh, not summoner, black mage. Yeah, black mage. Okay, and then I need to head back to... Whoop. A cunning plan. That is back in Thanalan. Okay, cool. So, let's head back to Thanalan. Ulda specifically. And then go see what the next series of missions is. The next two missions, specifically. And then I needed to head to... It's not back at the uh, Black Mage Guild, is it? I don't think so. Strange, because I don't see it anywhere here. Am I missing something here? Siblings rising. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the, there's a new, there's another uh, technically seasonal event, the the rising event. Yeah, that's going on until the next big patch. That's something I. Ooh, you know what? That's something I could do later today. But I want to see if I can complete more of these uh, quests first. So a cunning plan. I need to. Oh, it is over by where I think it is. Okay, let's head back over to uh, head over to the miners guild. I was trying to think of where it was, but it wasn't showing up on my map. It's because I wasn't in the right area for it to show up. Now it shows up, right? Yes, now it shows up. It's been a while, Lalai. Actually, quite a while. I almost forget how to play this class already. <laughs> Next quest is a cunning plan. Lalai has received an unexpected letter. Dexter, I've received a letter from 269th Order Medicant Daza. The oh, right, the 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 the, the cobalt. Yes, the Mughal's reach extends further than I'd realized. But that Daza would contact us suggests that something is very much amiss. I wait at Bronze Lake. It says, and no more than that. Though perhaps somewhat cryptic, the letter's uh, letter's brevity suggests a sense of urgency. Please, hurry to Bronze Lake and investigate the situation. I shall inform Z uh, Zahai Nella of this development, though I doubt the fool can render much assistance. I gave my word that he would cooperate. Alright then, off to Bronze Lake! Why are we going all the way to Bronze Lake for this? Oh, that's where the kobolds live, of course. That's most likely where Daza was from, related to these uh, Black Mage missions. Okay, so, looks like he's heading to- the, he's waiting to the south somewhere. Not that far. Oh, just beyond this rock wall. Hey, buddy, what's up? Dexter, I'm glad to see you. Pleased, happy, glad. Kazakh Cha has told me what happened. This is grim news. Yes, yes, grim news indeed. 
The man Kazakh Cha spoke of approached me too, spoke of the Defiant, said he wanted my knowledge, wisdom, insight, knowledge. I told him I needed time to think, consider, ponder, think. I told him to return later. When he returns, we shall ambush him. Yes, yes, a sound plan, I think. I told him to meet me northeast, uh, yeah, northeast of Bronze Lake. I shall approach as normal, as bait. Dexter, you lie in wait. Ambush, hiding, wait. Okie dokie. Time to go help Cobalt. For the northeast, he said. Huh. He said northeast, but this is effectively northwest. Or literally just north. That, count, that counts too. Alright. Waiting destination. Okay, time to set up the ambush. I'm ready and waiting. Oh, that is east of where I'm, this, where I'm supposed to wait, so that counts technically. What kind of getup is that? It looks kind of ridiculous, not gonna lie. You, you are the leader of the Defiant? My name is Waldiv, and you, you're a descendant from First Order Patriarch Gagu, uh, Dagu, yes? Dagu was my ancestor, progenitor, forebearer, ancestor. You know him? I've had opportunity to peruse a fascinating tome left by Kukuruka in it. Dagu was mentioned as a, def a confidant who assisted the master in his studies of the dark arts. It also states that Kukuruka intended to entrust the secrets of his research to those same confidants. I fully expect you to tell me all about these secrets. Then you are wrong. Mistaken. Incorrect. Wrong. I shall reveal nothing to the likes of you. Hm. I'm a busy man, Daza. If you refuse to cooperate, I simply don't have time for you. Good, get out of here then. Wait, where are you going? You might have made a powerful ally, but as an enemy, you cannot be suffered to live. Uh-oh. Find out everything he knows, then kill him. I don't think a torture tactic like that's gonna work. Uh-oh. Slay Defiance! I think I can do that. Uh, first of all, I need to set this. And now, thunder. And thunder. Wrong spell. I wanted to use this. Do -do 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 -do. And recast thunder. Yeah, there we go. Wow, it took you out immediately. How about I flare? Just for the heck of it. See how much damage this does. Bam. Ooh, not a lot. And I managed to cast the other blizzard spell, but that worked! Nice! <laughs> I'm somewhat getting used to this class. Oh wait, you need to Dave. Did they actually hurt you? Thank you, Dexter! Those Defiant didn't stand a chance! No, no, no chance at all! But Waldiv got away. Fled, escaped, got away. Now I'm remembering the voice I used. Dexter, Lalai relayed to me what happened. Yeah, you're a little too late, buddy. These men, were they defiant mages? Maybe. Why? Who's asking? You fool! You've killed every last one of them! How do you intend for us to question them now? Uh, whoops. I knew this would happen. You black mages are quick to wield your destructive powers, but rarely do you consider the consequences. We must return to Lalai. Do not think that I will forget about what you have done here. Oh. Um. Sorry, I was just trying to save a friend. Were you not in full control of your powers? Did your magics run wild? Amok? Untamed? Wild? Whatever the case, I do know that you saved me. Rescued. Protected. Saved. Thank you, Dexter. I owe you my life. You should hurry to Ulda. Much as you protected me from the Defiant, I suspect Lalai may benefit from protection from that Makode. Yes, yes. Hurry to Ulda. Okay, I'll do just that. Thank you for the assistance, Order, Med Order Medicant. Hurry back to Ulda, Dexter. Stop Lalai and the Makode from fighting, quarreling, bickering, fighting. 
Oh, right, because they do not get along well. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, let's return back to Ulda. That'd be a good idea. Back to Miner's Guild. Why does it keep facing me away from where I want to go? Stop it. Oh boy, there they are. Hi, guys. Hmm, you're finally here. Yes, I am. What about it? Uh, no, you're not related to what we're doing here. Sorry about that. Dexter. Zahai, uh, Zahai Naldia, Nel, Zahai Nelha, Nelha, not, not Nelda, Nelha, has been standing there silently fuming for quite some time now. What has transpired? We got attacked. I had to fight back to save our friend Daza. So it was indeed Waldiv that stole the Book of Thal, and he's been studying the magics inscribed within. But did truly not a single deviant survive? I somehow doubt that you are fully responsible for. I cannot. Uh, I care not for your doubts. I explicitly told you not to interfere in my investigation. If nothing else, this shows the bloody outcome of a battle between opposing black mages. Fighting destructive power with more destructive power. It's such thinking that led to the War of the Magi. I'm sure I needn't remind you of the outcome of that war. Ugh, yeah. I strongly recommend you give some thought as to just how terrible a force you toy with. Well, sorry. The War of the Magi. I suppose I cannot blame him for seeing the parallels. A war between forces commanding unimaginable destructive magic power. But black magic is not purely to blame. It was the violent confluence of black and white magic that ultimately led to disaster. So, what the red mages oppose exactly? I think I brought about this. It brought about the sixth, um, the sixth umbral era. It is only natural that the risks of a, con a reincurrence of these terrible events would instill great fear. I know you would never be so reckless as to allow something like that to happen. The problem lies not with black magic, but with the defiant. I'm disinclined to pay heed to Zahai ne uh, Nila's words when they run counter to those of Daza who witnessed the battle firsthand. That's true, he showed up afterwards. I find it hard to believe that you would lose control of your powers. There must be some other explanation for the deaths of those mages. It also seems that Waldiv is gathering something of a following. To better oppose this growing menace, I shall teach you a new spell I recently deciphered from the Book of Nald. <gasps> new magic. Remember, Dexter, black magic is not a thing to be feared. A true black mage, uh, as a true black mage, you have the power to control it. I believe in you. Thank you, sir. Oh, what do we get exactly? Sharp cast. Requires the next scathe, fire, or thunder cast rule for the first hit triggers scathe's additional effect. Fire starter or thunder glide. Oh, okay. So, uh, so if I use this before scathe, it would automatically double the damage. If I use it before fire, it automatically adds the gives me the fire starter status, and before thunder automatically gives me thundercloud. Ooh! So rather than relying on RNG to get them, nice. Quest complete. You have gained ancient knowledge from the Book of Nald. Learned sharpcast. Now, where exactly on this bar am I gonna put it? Oh, it automatically puts here. That seems like a good spot. I wonder if I should put it somewhere else, though. Maybe... Maybe set it to down here under Adel instead. Maybe? So I can immediately go back to this once I'm done with it. Just click that and then boom. Instead of doing like this and then using another button. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So let me actually set these back here. So unlock that. Put Sharpcast over here. Actually... Oh, keep Sharpcast over there, but I'm actually going to do this. Nope, this. There we go. And then set Sharpcast... Well, right. Unlock that. Sharpcast to here. That seems pretty good, but again, if it turns out that there's a different setup I'd prefer to use, then I'll use that instead. And for now, we have the next quest, which is Black Squawk Down. 
<laughs> really? As a reference to Black Hawk Down? Okay. Lalai has received another letter. Another letter? Already? So from one of the other allies? Dexter, I've received another letter. Danger, please help. We hide in Alder Springs. Tell Dexter. Dozal. That's all it says. The handwriting is barely legible. It doubtless goes without saying, but Dolza Melak is in need of your help. Our help, sorry. I shall have to tell uh, Zehai Dela about this. Do not dwell on this previous, uh, his previous outburst. I know you have full control of your powers. Use this opportunity to show the man that the true cunning and finesse that a black mage can bring to the fight. Enough talk. Hurry to Alder Springs and save Dolzal's Melak. I shall do just that! Okay, so... Uh, Alder Springs, that is, if I recall, that is in Gridania. Yes, Black Shroud. Oh, okay, so it's over in Fulgord Float. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I was actually expecting somewhere in the South Shroud. Although now I'm realizing I, would get, I was getting that mixed up with, let's see, Central Shroud, South Shroud. Yeah, I was getting it mixed up with Earth's Gift. That's what was happening. Okay. Let us head south from here. Past all these rocks and stuff. Dozal, where are you? You're somewhere around here. Oh. Oh, yep, there's more mages. Oh, goody. Mages. Why did it have to be mages? Okay, let's do this, guys. Okay, make sure to target the guy in the center first, and then... Tr no, transpose. I want to lay lines. There we go. And then Thunder 3. Uh, two on against all three of you. Bang! <laughs> okay, now this. Ow. How dare you? I'm in the middle of something. Don't hurt me. Also, I probably should do... Wrong? Yeah, yeah that's what I want to do. Mana Font. No. Mana Ward is what I wanted to do. There we go. Reduce damage I take. I cast the wrong spell. I wasn't paying attention. I'm so sorry. Get that back up. And then this. There we go. Woo! Don't you dare. No, no, no. Stop that. Almost got you. Now it's your turn. Woo! Nope. And then Blizzard 3 to start getting some MP back. Even though I actually don't need to. Fire 3. And flare for the heck of it. Good night, sir. There we go. You okay, Dozal? Thank you, Dexter. Saved Dozal's life, you have. Kazakh Chad tried to warn Dozal. Dozal panicked, tried to flee. But to get but get caught, Dozal did. Ha! Somehow knew that Dozal was exiled from tribe, these mages did. So into the forest, they chased Dozal. Ha! Finally, they surrounded Dozal. Offered friendship at first, but rejected Dozal did. They said if Dozal is not friend, then Dozal enemy. But save Dozal, you did. Many thanks. You're welcome. Hey, again to show up just in the nick of not in time. Gods, I was too late again. You've already cut your, your swath of reckless destruction. What did I plan? Uh, what did you plan to achieve? How many more lives must you end before you realize how fruitless this is? Unless you notice something. Wait, these wounds. They're unlike anything I've ever seen. Looks like they were incinerated from the inside. Dexter, was this perhaps not your doing after all? Yeah, because I don't know how to cook someone. I don't know how to microwave. Of what does this man speak? Pursued Dozal for a long time, these men did. Tried to kill Dozal. Rah! Explain! Who are you? What do they want? Dozal understands now. Rah! Read the book of Thal they did. Learned of mother of mother of mother of Dozal. Learned of her secrets. Dozal's secrets. Made clear their pursuit is. But these wounds. Perhaps Dozal has an explanation. These men did not have the gem of Shantoto. Ah! Dozal thinks that is why they died. Gem of Shantoto? Whatever are you talking about? Gem is proof that Dexter is true, Black Mage. 
gem brims with magical power. Without the gem of Shototo, impossible to control this most powerful black magic is. Ha! Ah! Lost control these mages did. Ether within their bodies ignited, burned alive from the inside. Painful way to die it is. So these defiant mages fell victim to their own arrogance, using dark magics that far outstripped their ability to control them. So Dexter isn't at fault. The answers you seek, Dozal hopes you find. But Dozal cannot stay here. Dozal must leave. Thank you, Dexter. Dozal owes you debt of life. Ah! One day, Dozal will repay. Farewell! Ah! <laughs> so these men were slain not by your hand, but by their own use of powers they couldn't control. But please understand that the fact that you can control your powers does nothing to resolve the issue at hand. You should return to the Lalai and explain to her what happened here. Please accept my apologies for my earlier accusations. Accepted. Thank you. You're welcome. Not entirely sure what the proper response is there, but yeah, good to go. All right, so return back to Ulda, report back to Lalai. We make myself dizzy for the heck of it. There we go. And I'm back. Hello, everyone. Okay, back on over to the Miners Guild once more. Actually, you know what? Now that, now that I think about it, I think... I'm not sure if the... Is the Weaker, Weaver's Guild equidistant from here? I'm not entirely sure. It might be. Oh, fireworks are still going on. Oh, is the fireworks going on because of the rising? Because the uh, other seasonal event is not here anymore. The moon fair fair? The moon fire fair? Dexter, would Do was Doza Melok unharmed? Thankfully, I got there in time. So yes, he is unharmed. Huh, I see. Well, if nothing else, it seems that Z uh, it seems that Zay Zaya... I've been reading that wrong entirely. Zion Nella no longer doubts your innocence. But the Defiant were immolated from within. If Dozal Melok's conjecture is accurate, the cult situation becomes quite clear. But I hardly need to explain that you... Uh, expl explain that to you, do I? No, not really. Ooh, we can answer. Ah, so you have noticed too, or... But if you were to explain it to me. <laughs> um... It's been quite a while. I'd like a refresher. <laughs> I suppose for one to whom these powers come as second nature, some things are not so easily noticed. The Defiance numbers cannot continue to grow indefinitely. They will have difficulty swelling their ranks when they cannot use their powers without the risk of a horrifying death by immolation. Thus, they strive for control over the Dark Arts, while showing themselves only to our Beastman friends in the hope that they might reveal the secrets to controlling these magics. Fortunately, we have prevented them from learning anything. With these avenues now lost to them, Waldeev must realize that he's running out of options. Though we may lack leads from which to track down the Defiant, their position remains weaker the, the longer they wait. They will soon be forced to take action. There's no need to rush. We need simply wait the enemy out. Oh. And for my efforts, I get... Enochia? Enochia? And what? Enochian? Increases damage dealt by 5% while under the effect of Astral Fire. Oh, right, this is a- oh, this is a trait, okay. Upon successfully lending fire 2 while under the effect of Astral Fire, grants enhanced flare. Enhanced flare effect ends if Astral Fire is lost. Hmm. Wonder what enhanced flare does. I'll have to look into that later. Quest complete in the meantime. You have gained ancient knowledge from the Book of Nald. Learned Enochian. Now, where did Enochian go? Same spot? No, it went somewhere else. Where did it go? Oh, right, it's a trait. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Okay, so, ooh. Elemental Gauge expanded. Coming under the effects of extra, uh, oh, down here? No, okay. Coming out under the influence of Astral Fire or Umbral Ice will grant Enochian and set the lower right corner of the gauge aglow, indicating its act effect is active. Enochian increases the potency of magic attacks, as well as unlocks powerful spells such as Blizzard 
4, which I don't have access to yet. Inochian fades when Astral Fire or Umbral Ice expires. Oh. Oh! Okay, so the yep, the golden part of the gauge glows when I have it active. Okay. Oh right, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that based on the 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 the, the job trailers. It actually has some countdown while it's active. I think. Yeah, that's how it works. So that is going to be it for the black mage for sadly quite a while because I need to get up in level for the next part. So which one is next? Next one would be the summoner, like I accidentally did before. Let's actually make sure that I summon Carbuncle before I start this. There we go. Now I actually have access to the stuff I need to for that. So, now, for this, I need to return to... Yeah, this is in Ulda as well. Yes, that's right. Over by the Etherite. Okay, let's head back there then. You know what? Let's head off to this uh, other Etherite for us over by the Weaver's Guild this time. Da -da -da. Okay, and then over to closest one is the Etherite. Etherite Plaza, I should say. Alrighty, and then from here, head up the stairs. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> Sprint. There we go. Is there another quest here? What is this? I can't see what this is. Remembering the past? It's another thing that can be synced down to by based on level? I haven't seen that before. Also, there's another quest here as well. What is this? Call of the Wild Immortal Flames. Huh. Okay, that's some stuff to look into later. But first, let's see what Dancing Wolf has to say. With a minor negotiation, Dancing Wolf awaits your return. A grave expression upon his features. Auspicious time indexer. There has been news, and none of it good. Our soldiers in central Thandaland have reported another attack. I looked over the notes for the initial investigation, and it would seem Tristan, or someone who looks very much like him, has struck again. I'll have one of my men contact Dimitra with the details, but I suggest we head out to the no uh, Nanawa mines immediately and question one of the surviving victims. Good idea. Let's go. Alright, so we're heading off to the Nanawa Wines. Nanawa Mines. Proper to say that. Nanawa Mines is. Okay, so it is north of Blackbrush. Okay, let's teleport there. I hear fireworks, but I don't see them, sadly. Can you even see fireworks from here? No, no fireworks. Okay, just making sure. Let's go see about the survivor, see what the, he is, has to tell us about what the attack by Tristan, or the Tristan-like person. Ah, here you are. Assaulted Miner. Emitra sent word that she should be along shortly. If only this gentleman was as agreeable. He's not. What do you mean, more questions? I'll spill me tale to three different soldiers already. Me work gets further and further behind every time I gotta stop and talk to you folk. Here's an idea, though. How about you scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. That big lad in the uniform there looks like he could lift some good-sized rocks. And what about you, lad? You some sort of mage? We've had some trouble with the local Spriggans swiping our fire sliver, and you're just a bloke to get it back. That stuff's as rare as chocobo teeth, you know. Chocobos have teeth? <laughs> Now, just a moment, sir. We don't have the time for these distractions. Then maybe I don't got the time to talk to you. Not until there's a little give with your take. Well, darn it. Okay, fine. I fear he means to be stubborn about this, Dexter. Please humor the man and retrieve his precious ore from the Spriggans. Okay. Oh, yeah, you need to go uh, move rocks. Fun. Aye, I'm gonna need feet me fire sliver back from them spriggans. Always lurking nearby, they are sniffing about the carts. You'll find them soon enough. Okay, okay, let's go find some spriggans. Wrong buttons. Aha! Spriggans scratchings. Ooh, hi, hostile presence! Um. How about I do this? Ow! 
Oh yeah, I forgot I should be doing this. Ether charge. That'd be smart. Da -da 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 -da. Faster! Da -da 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 -da. Ow! But I set this to get some damage reduction from you. Even though you're... Oh! I missed one. There we go. Okay, so I investigated something and found... Uh, I found fire silver! Okay, so I need to find two more. I see there's one on the other side of this uh, stairway. Hello, friend! How about you take some summon Ifrit? That barely did anything. Get that back. There we go. And there we go. All done. Okay, so we got one more to find. I'm assuming it's at the top of these stairs. I would be correct. Ha ha ha, it's off to the side. Hello, Sprig and Scatchlings. I need to pick you up. Oh boy, hi! Um, haven't used Outburst in a while. Actually, I should do this. Hehehehe. <laughs> Damn you a lot. There we go, and then you. <clears throat> I keep forgetting about the combos for this. There we go. And this and this. You get some damage reduction, because I kind of need it. Almost got you. Might as well do this for the heck of it. There we go. Whew. Okay, done. Got all three. Okay, report back to the miner. Oh, look like you got tuckered out quite a lot, didn't you, Dancing Wolf? Huh. This is a picnic compared to my officer training. Oh, wow. Your training is that bad, huh? You find them, Spriggins, lad? What about me fire sliver? I have it. Oh, silver, not sliver. Also known as ruby silver. These rare grayish red mineral is often found near veins of regular silver. For every hundred pawns of silver a miner excavates, however, she'll be lucky to find even a pawns of fire silver. Ooh. So it's pretty rare. They really did need it back then. Uh huh. You got the whole lot back. Much appreciated. Hey, Mitra. My apologies. My studies took longer, uh, rather longer than I... Captain Wolf, is everything all right? Everything's fine. Now, let's hear your story, sir. Aye, I reckon you've earned it. Well, we was at the mine, loading the carts with our haul for the day, when this bloke in robes appears. Doesn't say a word. The bastard just snaps his fingers and sets his pet demon to light me mates on fire. Yeah, that sounds right. Efrit Eggy. Dexter, if you would be so kind. Oh, sure. You mean... This? Bloody hells! Aye, that's the fiend I saw! Twas as we feared then. And this robe-clad man, do you have any idea of why he attacked you? Well, lass, there's more than silver to be had from Nanoa. On a good day, we'd dig up our fair share of crystals as well. That seems to be what he was after. I'm not ashamed to say that I fled for my life once I'd, once folks started going up in flames. But when I went back to sort out the mess, the cart we had the crystals in was empty. He took them all? Aye, every single one. And that's all I've got to say about that. Hope you catch the bastard. We hope so, too. Thank you. Crystals. There was a crate of crystals on the list of goods stolen from that caravan. He must have taken everything else to conceal his intent. Our quarry grows cr uh, careless, or simply impatient. It is time I re-examined certain other incidents that we did not think related to this case. Meet me at the Halls of Flames and we shall discuss the matter further. Yes, sir. I can imagine only one reason why such a man as Tristan would seek to acquire a wealth of crystals. 
Come, Dexter, let's not keep Captain Wolf waiting. The mystery grows. He needs crystals for something. I'm pretty sure I have an inkling of what it's going to be. But we should figure it out for ourselves, you know, at a later point. Back to Uldal we go! Okay, okay, and then from here... Oh, I just walked through here. Whee! Da, da, oh, da, da. There we go. Get the timing of that correct. Hey guys, I'm back. Whatever evil our callous foe is planning, we cannot allow it to come to fruition. Let us speak with Captain Wolf and learn what else his investigations have uncovered. Yes, what else have you uncovered? I inspected our incident reports, playing, uh, paying close attention to cargo manifests that included crystals. We had attributed several recent raids to the Amalja, but the victims were, every one of them, burned to death. Not entirely impossible, considering the Lizardman's affinity for Friar, but to find out a single arrow or spear wound. Aye, tis highly unlikely. Mayhap I should state aloud what we're all thinking. Judging by the sheer number of crystals involved, we must assume that this villain intends to call forth a primal. After my encounter with Ifrit, I learned just how devastatingly powerful these entities can be, and I believe that summoners with their ability to harness such power hold the potential to achieve great things. But if Tristan truly is mad enough to summon a primal, then that unthinkable act, and the bloody deeds he performed in preparation for it, will cause people to question the motives of all who practice the summoner's art. My studies of the tombstones revealed to me a tale of uh, adulation. The summoners of Alak were revered as heroes for their part in defeating the ancient primals, but reverence slowly turned to revulsion as practitioners, intoxicated by their own immense power, began wielding the art of summoning as a means to further their own selfish ambitions. That's not to say, of course, that all summoners chose to become tyrants. Amongst the common people, however, it became a strongly held superstition that those who meddled in the powers of primals ultimately fell to the embrace of evil. This superstition blossomed into outright terror, and that's when the mage hunts began. By the end of the Third Astral Era, the last of the summoners had vanished from this stage of history. And should we allow Tristan to go through the, with his plans, then we risk a repeat of the tragedy. I'll review the state of patrons on the crystal made, uh, crist pa uh, patrols on the crystal trade routes. We will catch him. Good to know. Dexter, before I join you at the uh, Nanawa Mines, I was able to recover another incantation that may prove useful in the coming days. Wield its power wisely. I hope I do. Oh, minor negotiation complete. You are granted the lost wisdom of ancient Alag. Learned Ruin 3. Ooh. I don't have Ruin 3. Oh, it even changed on my hotbar, too. Let's see. I just want to double check here. Was it a trait that I got? Yeah, Ruin Mastery 2, which makes Ruin 2 into Ruin 3. Awesome! Okay, so what do we have next, Dancing Wolf? Mad, Bad, and Ebonclad. Oh, hold on. Give me a moment. Sorry about that, I had my cat Maple in here this whole time. She was sleeping on my windowsill and just decided she wanted to leave the room. So, there we go. Okay, so, back into it. Mad, bad, and ebonclad. Dancing Wolf is ready to go on the offensive. Greetings, Dexter. I hope you're prepared to take action. Ever since we increased our presence on the tree roots, our Black Road's villain has ceased his attacks. Now it's our turn to go on the offensive. With the blessings of my superiors, I've arranged for a lightly guarded shipment of crystals with which we will lure, Tr uh, lure Tristan into an ambush. And I want you there when we are spring the trap. I've already sent word to Emitra, and she will meet us in Camp Blue Fog. Let us bring an end to this, Dexter. I somehow don't think we will, considering we have two other quests after this, but okay. So, uh, Camp Blue Fog, it's in North... Uh, Northern Thanalan, yeah. Uh, 
I'll come back for these other quests later. But for now, I'm gonna finish this up. Okay, so, uh, aha, there we are. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. We've been waiting for you, Dexter. Let us put Captain Wolf's uh, plan into action. Alrighty then. Captain? Dexter, you're here. Good. Our crystal couriers have just left camp. The plan is simple. The caravan will head towards the processing plant, but conveniently break an axle before reaching the East Watchtower. That's not very far from here, you know, unless they started from Ulda. We three will take up separate positions nearby and wait for Tristan to take the bait. I've had the driver complaining long and loudly about the lack of a suitable escort for his precious cargo, so we can be reasonably sure that an attack will come. I trust you need no further explanations. Head to your assigned position and do your best to keep out of sight. Yes, sir. I will do just that. All right, let us be off. Come, Markab. So how far north? Not that far north, strangely. Oh, here's the cart. Hey, courier decoy. You're here for the ambush? Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you and all, but you'd best keep your distance. Wouldn't want the enemy avoiding our carefully laid trap, huh? Oh, yeah, exactly. Sorry about that. Oh, there's Amitra. So, where is the captain? Aha! The captain's over here. Let me go talk to them first. Pardon me, Basilisk. I'm not interested in you. If I've read him, if I've read him right, Tristan will be unable to resist this lure. But enough talk. Take up your position and keep an eye out for Black Road's madmen. I will do just that, but first I'm going to go talk to Amitra. This is a rare opportunity to talk to NPCs during a mission. Hi. Is that a miss? This tree is hardly big enough to conceal the both of us. Oh, right. Sorry. I didn't realize you were st actually actively doing that. Okay. My hiding position ex isn't exactly, you know, hidden. It's right out in the open. Unless you want me to hide in this bush. Or am I hiding behind these two rocks? I'm not sure. Okay, time to begin the mission. Okay, Dimitri's keeping an eye on that side. Dancing Wolf is disappearing off to that side. Ah, it burns! It burns! How did we miss him? We just saw that looked in that direction. That is not Tristan. At least I don't think it is. Wait, why did they two just... Why did they just leave their posts? I just realized that they both walked in the opposite direction from where we were looking. Huh. Interessant. Well, time to start. Hello, Ebon Clad Summoner. Oh, you have also have Needy Fred Eggie. Let's take care of that first. Also do this. Basta! I probably should use plane fire there to get both of you. Oh, this is what Rune 3 looks like. Okay, cool. Haha! <laughs> I took care of you already. Now it's your turn, Evan Clyde Summoner. How about you take some Titan Negi to the face? And one more for good measure. Boom. There we go. Wow, you went down real easy. You okay, Courier? Where are the other... Seriously, where are the other two? You okay, Courier? Here, let me provide it to you. You kind of... looks like you kind of need it. You did say you got burned, I think. Yeah. It's too bad I'm not a white mage right now. Talk to me, soldier. Uh, I'll live, Captain. He popped right out of thin air. Took me by surprise. Out of thin air? He just teleported in like that? The same happened to me. Another man in dark robes stepped through some manner of portal and assailed me with spells. Oh. They were lured away by other people showing up. My position also came from under attack. An underling, judging by the ease of which I was dispatched him, but I've never before seen such teleportation magics. Are they using the void to get around? No, it cannot be. 
you you know this man, Captain Wolf? This is Caden, Tristan's brother. But how? He was tempered, slain. Oh, and now both siblings have disappointed me. I should exercise more care in choosing my pawns. Oh, goody. And Ossian, that voice. You are the one who taught Tristan the art of summoning. Have you come to inflict yet more misery upon the world? Tristan? Wait a minute. I'm trying to figure out where the heck he is. I, I don't see him. Oh, now I see him. It's so dark up against the, the rocks in the nighttime. I couldn't see him. He's right up there. Right, right up here. Wait, click here. Ow! No, I didn't mean to do that. Darn it. No matter. The bringer of light has proven a more than adequate replacement for my failed god slayer. With every primal you kill, the beastman's fervor grows ever hotter. We need but supply the tribes with crystals and watch as they summon ever more terrible deities. When the confluence of chaos reaches its peak, the world will be swallowed in darkness. Our master shall rise again. He's gone. God damn it. And we should be gone as well. I shall see that my soldier is treated for his wounds. Then await you outside the halls of flame the hall of flames. So Tristan's brother died. How the heck was he here? Alive. Hey Basilisk, do you have any idea about this? How about you, Heavy Hatchling? Carbuncle? No? Carbuncle inside Heavy Hatchling? Neither of you? None of you? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll have to figure out that mystery at a later point. Let's head back to Ulda. I need answers! Hopefully, his uh, uh, investigations will give us some. So it wasn't Tristan, but it was Tristan's brother. How in the hell did that happen? Once again, a paragon lurks behind the curtain, pulling the strings. I should have suspected. I believe some reassessment is in order. We know now that the Black Road's menace we thought to be Tristan was actually his brother Caden, a reanimated puppet under the control of an Asian. So, he was dead. Was he buried? Then again, he was tempered, so I wonder if he was just... I don't, I don't, mm, I don't remember the details of how he was died, how, how he died, so I can't say for sure if they were able to revive him at all. Both brothers were present at Ifrit's defeat, so Caden's aura too would have been uh, stained with the primal's essence, which, if I understand correctly, would explain his ability to command the Eggy. But for that Asian to raise the lad's corpse and press him into service as his puppet summoner, I shall see the black the blackguard suffer for this cruel depravity. Aye, the Paragon has many crimes for which he must answer, but we must move with great caution. The power of these immortals is not to be underestimated. I'll return to Gridania and redouble my efforts to decipher the remaining tombstones. We cannot face an Asian unprepared. He's true. Mad, mad, and Evan clad completed! And I'm level 57 now! It's too bad it's not the level I need for the next quest here. That's unfortunate. So, what in the world is this other quest? Remembering the past is not the same as this sibling's rivalry thing. Sibling, oh, sorry, sibling's rising thing. So, let's see what this is. But let's not be a, the summoner for this. Let's go back to, mm, should I be the warrior for this? I'm not entirely sure what I should be. You know what? Let's actually go back to being the samurai for this one. Yeah. Now, let's go see what Nanaji has to say. Remembering the past. I haven't seen this before, so it's odd how it's just now showing up. Nanaji appears to be in deep thought. The determined set of your jaw, the dynamic presence, as if you're ever ready to leap into action. There's no mistake, you're an adventurer, and a, de and a dependable one at that. Tell me, are you familiar with the name Louis Soit Levior? Uh, yeah, I have heard of him, of course I am. Of course you are, of course you are. Forgive me my suddenness. My name, uh, I'm Nanaji Nuna, uh, Nanaji Nonoji, a budding writer, and I seek to pen a biography of the great man. 
In particular, I wish to cover his movements leading up to the Calamity, and to that, I've requested an interview with the Immortal Flames. He served the Eorzean Alliance as a tactician, you see, so there ought to be someone in the, uh, in the Order who had dealings with him. And while my request has thankfully been, uh, has thankfully been accepted, there's just one problem. I don't have much experience conducting interviews, and I, I'm worried whether I'll be able to do a proper job. As an adventurer, you're doubtless used to dealing with people. Thus, I would like to ask you to accompany me in the capacity of an assass uh, assistant. Not assassin. I saw the two uh, multiple S's and immediately thought assassin. It would be tremendously reassuring to simply have you watching on. And if you're amenable, afterwards I'd like to interview you as well for your own impressions. I didn't know the man myself, but that's fine. For your troubles, I'll be certain to credit you as a collaborator. So please, won't you help me with my biography, that the memories of the Calamity might be preserved for future generations? Sure. I am in your debt. To begin with, please come with me to Camp Drybone in Eastern Thanalan. There's a place I'd like to visit ahead of the interview. Okay, off to Drybone then. Let us do that. Off to Drybone, not Black Bar Station, Drybone. I'll come back later! Whee! Da, 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 da. There you are. I thought based on the picture you'd be further up, but I assume that's later. There you are. To explain why we're here. Oh, but I haven't even asked your name. How am I supposed to credit you if I don't even know that much? That's right, you didn't ask that before either. Whoops. Hi, my name's Dexter. Dexter Gravel. The Dexter Gravel, champion of Eorzea? Um, yes. Small wonder I felt you were dependable. With one such as you helping me, everything will surely go well. But getting back to business, the interview I've arranged is with an officer of the Immortal Flames. As there's still time, however, I thought we'd pay a visit to the nearby graveyard first, so I can explain my motivation for other biography. Okay, now we're heading up there. Oh, we're just heading there now. Okay. I come from a small village near the Cartanel Flats. It was burned down in the Calamity, and those who died were laid to rest here. My parents among them. Oh. It's hardly an uncommon tale. After the dread primal emerged from Dalamud, we un he unleashed fiery devastation across the length and breadth of Eorzea. But as much as the Calamity was scar has scarred the realm, it's quickly becoming just another event in the history books. Beyond occasional giving thanks to the Archons that Eorzea was saved, people spare it little thought. But when you've lost so many loved ones, it's hard to feel that anything was saved. That's why I wish to know more about Louis Soi. By learning about his part in Eorzea's salvation, I hope that I will attain closure. That's my motivation for writing the biography. I see. Now then, in preparation for the interview, let's review what's known about our subject. It's difficult to define exactly when the Seventh Umbral Era Calamity was set in motion. Many historians, however, point to the, uh, the Empire's Meteor Project, which sought to bring Dalamud down upon Eorzea. This is new. It was the year 1562 of the Sixth Astral Era. Seeking to combat the Imperial threat, Louis Suave founded the Circle of Knowing, an order whose objective was the preservation of Eorzea. That sounds like the precursor to the Scions. Though its members, the Archons of Charleian, the Circle worked to, uh, through its members, the Archons of Charleian, the Circle worked to unite the nations of Eorzea in common cause. Oh wait, this is yeah, this is no, this is part of the the the. This looks more like the leaders of each nation. Hmm, not the not the uh, scions, but yeah. The result was the formation of the Grand Companies in the Three City States. That's what I was thinking of. Grand Companies, the name slipped me. The Immortal Flames, the Order of the Twin Adder, and the Maelstrom. None of these would exist now were it not for their efforts. 
I'm sorry, I'm just looking at these other pictures now. I don't see any of the current leaders there, so... Oh yeah, this must have been... Yeah, this would have been a long time ago, so the current leaders wouldn't have been here for this. For its making. And then, in the year 1572, when the situation was coming to a head, Louis Swy himself made the journey to Eorzea in secret and engaged with each of the nations. What took place during that time is what I seek to learn in the interview. The man we're due to meet is the contact for the Free Brigade, a unit formed of adventurers, and he apparently had Louis Swa's assistance for a mission. The meeting place is Highbridge to the northeast. It's more or less time now, so let's make our way there. Okie dokie. We'll do just that. I'm not entirely sure what we're doing, and I feel like it would be actually be more appropriate, given the, st the status of this mission, that I go back to being a warrior with us. So I'll do that. Okay, now, off to High Bridge. Let's go, Midgard Summer. We're about to go uh, have an interview with someone that uh, saved the helped save the world, apparently. You want to hear about that? Yes? No? Probably not. Yeah, you're not saying much. I don't think you're going to be interested. <laughs> All right, here's the destination. The interviewee should be along any moment now. All right, then, let's wait. So who is this adventurer that we're meeting with? Is it someone we know? No, it's not someone we know. You're the ones who seek an interview? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see the champion of Eorzea. I'm Nanaji Nonoji, the writer who made the request, and Dexter is kindly accompanying me for the interview. I can't thank you enough for taking the time out of your busy schedule to humor me. <laughs> Calm now, no need for the thanks. Like everyone, I hold Louis Swa in the highest esteem. If you wish to know about him, Hall and Aubrey is always glad to oblige. Ah, so your name is Holland Aubrey. Hi! Without further ado, then, let us begin. My understanding is that you had dealings with Louis Swa. Could you please tell me the details? As you know, our grand companies were formed thanks to the Circle of Knowing. But it wasn't until, until, until Delamud began turning red that Louis Swa first appeared. Starting to reminisce. Oh. It began with the word that an elderly Elizan man came to uh, had come to Gridania who held the key to vanquishing primals. Upon learning of this, I sent an adventurer of the Free Brigade to make contact with them. I later learned that the Maelstrom and the Order of the Twin Adder had done the very same thing. At the time, our companies weren't yet collaborating. Each one only thought to stay ahead of the others. If truth be told, at first we didn't think much of Louis Swa, only that he was the leader of scholars who studied peculiar f prophecies. But when the adventurer reported back, our opinion of the man completely changed. With his spellcraft, Louis Swa had opened the way into Ifrit's domain, and by the hand of da uh, dauntless adventurers, the Lord of the Inferno was brought low. Alas, many defeats preceded that victory. It was reported that countless charred corpses laid strewn in the Bull of Embers. Now, the mission also yielded a shocking revelation. Following the battle, the goddess Nail von Darnus of the 7th Imperial Legion appeared and told the adventurer that the Hour of Reckoning was at hand that Dalamud would soon fall and cleanse the land. It was then we realized that the Empire was behind the Red Moon's anomaly. So, thanks to Louis Swa, you came to be aware of the Meteor Project. Still, it doesn't seem like you had much to act upon. 
as you say. Afterwards, we scrambled to learn all we could about the project. For a blessing, we had the cooperation of a guardian defector, or a defector, Sid Garland, whom you know well. Absolutely, I do. He revealed the details of the project, that it utilized a transmission tower to pluck Dalamud from the heavens, all for the purpose of purging us savages from the realm. Sudden music change, okay. I could continue uh, telling you what I know, but from this point, there is something better suited, uh, uh, someone better suited than I am. If you are interested, I would be glad to introduce you to this in individual. What say you? Well, now we'd be uh, we'd be keen to speak with this person indeed. Very well, I'll send word to the Adder's Nest. If you could take yourselves to Abkalu Falls, I will arrange for a meeting there. To go to such lengths to help us. I can't say how grateful I am. Do not mention it. As I said, I hold Louis Soi in the highest esteem. He was the one who brought our three nations together, and nothing would please me more than for him to be remembered. Well, it's past time I return to Ulda. I pray that the coming interview bears you fruit. We hope so too. Thank you. What a kind young man. <laughs> Then again, I might be younger. I don't actually know. I don't know how it, how Lala fell age. The lieutenant certainly has great respect for Louis Swa. And thanks to him, we have another promising interview. Come, let us head to Gradania, where the Archon had sojourned. That's right, he actually first, uh, first appeared in Gradania, so this actually makes sense that we're going there for the next... Uh, uh, interview. Why I couldn't I think right? All right. Now we're heading up to Upkalu Falls. That is in Gridania. I believe it's in the uh, old Gridania. Yeah, Upkalu Falls. That's... Wait. Is that what I'm thinking of? Upkalu Falls? Yeah, this is the same place where we meet with Mitra, isn't it? Let me just double check when we get in here just to be sure. Yes, I was correct. Okay. Let us, let's see, uh, closest one would be, I guess, the Mikado Amphitheater. I think that's the closest one. All right, let's go. Wrong way. There we go. There you are, Nanaji. So, who exactly is that we're going to be meeting with? So, this is Upkalu Falls. The conspicuous lack of the creatures aside, it's quite a peaceful place. A beautiful place. Now then, the person we're to meet should be along shortly. Aha! A member of the Twin Adder. I was told that there... Uh, I was told there were the... Uh, wow. I was told there were those who wished to learn about Louis Swa. And who should... And... Yeah, who should one of them be but the champion of Eorzea? Well met. I'm Lieutenant Ciro Fulk of the Order of the Twin Adder. Greetings. Nanaji Nonoji, at your service. Thank you for sparing the time to speak with us. Think nothing of it. I must say, though, that Lieutenant Aubrey chose the perfect spot for the subject matter. Oh, this is important to him, I take it? Louis Swa spent much time in rumination here in the days before the calamity. We Gridanians, being somewhat reserved, uh, reserved by nature, at first, the citizens kept their distance. <laughs> it 
makes it seem like he's staring longingly, longingly at Amitra. <laughs> but in time, people warmed to him. He patiently went, uh, lent an ear to their troubles, healing hurts and offering counsel, and gradually earned their trust. To ignore the plight of those might, uh, one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. Louis Swass spoke those words and lived up to them. He was the epitome of a Charlayan sage, and I recall myself being moved. Now, shortly after we had become aware of the Meteor Project, the hamlet of Quarry Mill was attacked by the Primal Garuda. Both soldiers and civilians were among the casualties. The Order of the Twin Adder moved to vanquish the Primal, but were not alone. Through Louis Soi's meditation, we had the support of not only our sister grand companies, but capable adventurers the realm over besides. Oh, mediation, not meditation. Darn it. Using an artifact known as the Vortex Feather, the Archon opened the way for a band of adventurers to sally forth into Garuda's turbulent domain, where they filled the fearsome being. Upon her defeat, however, the Primal's dispersed ether did not return to the land. Instead, it was absorbed into the Red Moon Dalamud. And when the Empire constructed a new base in Mordona, the Elder Seedseer saw the need for decisive action and put forth a proposal. The former, uh, formal, formation, uh, no, formal reformation of the Eorzean Alliance, which had for so long lay dormant. The initial response from the other nations was lukewarm at best. They felt that the burden to be borne only uh, b uh, to be borne by each party was excessive, and they were loath to do aught that would place them at the disadvantage against their rivals. There's the leaders I know, but the revelation that a lunar transmitter had been erected in the Imperial base prompted a change of heart. The tower controlled Dalamud's descent. If it could be destroyed then the Meteor Project would be forestalled. After having constantly been on the back foot, our nations were motivated to join hands that we might strike a decisive blow against the enemy. Thus was the Eorzean Alliance reformed, as the Circle of Knowing had hoped. At the same juncture, Louis Swa was asked to join the Alliance as a tactician, and in that capacity he proved sage counsel to our heads of state. Although, so although he was at first treated with wariness, Louis Swa earned our trust through his actions and paved the way to, uh, to enduring cooperation between our nations. Indeed, were it not for him, we, would, uh, we all would have perished divided. We owe Louis Swa a great debt. Now then, I expect you might be interested in hearing about the operation to destroy the lunar transmitter. I very much would. But for that tale, I would recommend you seek out another. A decorated soldier who actually took part in the operation. Although a hardened warrior, she's quite friendly and should be able to regale you with you her experiences. Shall I send her word on your behalf? We be duly grateful. Very well. If you could make yourself to Maelstrom Command in Limsa Lamensa, I shall see to it that she knows to expect you. With that, I shall take my leave. I pray that the biography is a success. Thank you! Everyone has been more helpful than I had dared to hope. It seems Louis Swa has had quite an influence on others. Yeah, you said it. Based on what I heard, too. That interview gave us some valuable insight into his character, and I'm eager to see what we learn in the next. Come, let us head to Limsa Lamensa. Alright, let's head back home! Are we actually going to finish this in Limsa Lamensa? That would be amazing. Maybe, maybe not. Well, no, I don't want to teleport. I want to return. There we go.
Okay, okay, now off to Maelstrom Command. Oh, pardon me, I had to yawn there. <laughs> okay, so, uh, back to F Castle, right? Yeah, Maelstrom Command is here. Yes. Oh, wow. There you are. Oh. Yeah, I've heard this music last year, too. I wasn't expecting to hear that. Ugh, it's kind of creepy. And there it is. Maelstrom Command. Shall we, then? There we go. Whew. Keep your music done. Hey! Lieutenant Gravel, ever a sight for sore eyes. And you must be Nanaji, uh, Rashat Riki, at your service. I understand you wish to hear about the operation to destroy the lunar transmitter? Indeed. I'm penning a biography of the Archon Louisois, you see, for which I'm interviewing people who had dealings with him. I truly appreciate your time. You're very welcome. I would be glad to assist even if it wasn't a request from Lieutenant Folk. Ah, yes, of course. Maelstrom Command Salute. Because I'm part of the Maelstrom. Haha. <laughs> now then, to continue where we left off. Oh, where he left off. It was shortly after the Eorzean Alliance was formed. Our scouts returned with word that the 7th Legion had activated the lunar transmitter in the fortress, uh, in their fortress in Mordona. Now known as Castrum Sentry, the fortress was originally called Castrum Novum before the 14th restored and renamed it. It was in order to break through this de its defenses and destroy the transmitter that our three nations joined hands, and we were determined to succeed. This is sounding a lot more like Operation Archon that we recent that uh, we did last year. The strategy that Louis Swab proposed was elegant in its simplicity. While our main force drew the Garleans' attention with an all-out siege, an elite band of adventurers would infiltrate the Castrum and take uh, and make for our objective. Just like before, but except it, but uh, it wasn't with an all-out. Wait, it was with an all-out siege, but it was with the other companies as well. We had entrusted adventurers with ridding us of the primals. Now we entrusted them with the very fate of Eorzea. I still remember the operation as if it were yesterday. Though we met with fierce resistance, we fought more fiercely still. No matter the cost, we had to ensure that the adventurers had a chance to strike at the transmitter. And when the messenger arrived bearing word that they had succeeded, it still makes my heart sore to recall the moment of triumph. That day, we learned that by standing together, the people of Eorzea could oppose even the might of the Empire. Tis no exaggeration to say that the victory paved the way for Eorzea's future. Without it, there would not even be there would not have been an Operation Archon. Oh. Alas, it wasn't all good tidings. For though we destroyed the transmitter, Nail Van Darnus appeared and claimed that he no longer needed the device to bring down Dalamud that he himself had the power to do so. How could he have done that? So long was Van, uh, so long was Van Darnus lived, the threat of destruction remained. Oh, so long as he lived, the threat of destruction remained. And so, branding him an enemy to all life in Eorzea, the nations of the Alliance undertook a desperate manhunt. At length, uh, yeah, at length they located him in Corthus and sent their greatest warriors to hunt him down. Leading that formidable band was the adventurer whom they called the Warrior of Light. And though no records remain of the fierce encounter, one thing is certain. A battle's uh, at battle's conclusion, Nail Van Darnus was brought low. As you know, however, our woes did not end with the White Raven, for Louis Swa and his disciples determined that Dalamud had uh, would continue to fall. In a last-ditch bid to prevent the realm's annihilation, the Circle of Knowing issued a request to the Eorzean Alliance to secure the Cartanel Flats, where the Red Moon was expected to crash. It was no simple task, for the entirety of the Seventh Legion had amassed in Cartanel but it was necessary in order to perform a ritual to stop Dalamud, a ritual that invoked the power of the Twelve. So it was that the Battle of Cartano was joined, 
And I dare say you know how the tale t uh, how the tale continues. To everyone's shock, the elder uh, elder primal Bahamut emerged from the Dalamud and proceeded to unleash its fury upon the realm. I and though all bore witness that Louis Swa uh, as Louis Swa initiated the ritual, none remember what came to pass afterwards, neither what happened to Bahamut nor why the realm was reborn. No one. Re oh yeah, no one did remember. That's right, the haze that afflicted memories of the calamity. But people remember events prior to that moment. Yes. If so, do you know if anyone was near Louis Swa during the battle? Someone who may have spoken with him. If someone was near him, I am afraid I do not know. He was atop a rise for the ritual while I was a good distance away from the front uh, on the front lines. My apologies. No, no, please don't apologize. You shared a wealth of information that I and I couldn't ask for more. Well, if you're satisfied, then so am I. With that, I shall return to my duties. I, not I. <laughs> I was looking. Uh, I look forward to reading the biography when it's finished. I do too. Thank you for your help. You seem awful lax for your uh, still requiring you work. Whatever. Hey, Nanaji. Now I have a grasp of the events leading up to the calamity, and yet, yet what? Oh, forgive me. I was deep in thought. In no small part due to your help, I've managed to learn a great deal. So have I. But there's still more that I wish to know. Might I trouble you to accompany a little longer? If you're willing, please let me know. Remembering the past? That's it? Okay, so we are completing, the, uh, continuing this though with the mission Preserving the Future. Nanaji desires more information for Louis Swa's biography. And what the heck is this? End of an era framers kit? Tools for enhancing a portrait. Ooh. Okay. Cool. I think this is actually the first one I'll be getting. Oh, uh, the first framers kit I'll be getting, I should say. You'll continue accompanying me then? Wonderful. Come, let us head to the Drowning West to discuss our next move. Okay, okay. Oh, it's not even me going there. I go there immediately. Our research proceeds apace so far. We've been learning things not found in literature. But tell me, based on what we've heard from our interviewees, what's your opinion of Louis Swa? Oh, we can answer this. What will I say? He's an exceptional leader. He had a difficult task, or others deserve more credit. Ooh, hmm. Yeah, because no one believed in him originally, so I'm wondering if uh, the fact that giving others credit act, uh, goes towards the fact that he was so popular. Because he wasn't recognized otherwise. Perhaps. Without the Warriors of Light, his plans may have come to naught. But without Louis Wai himself, there wouldn't have been a plan at all. What struck me as how, uh, was how grateful the interviewees were to Louis Swa for bringing their nations together in cooperation. It was nothing short of necessary for our survival. Yet in knowing this, I can't help but wonder. In his capacity as a tactician, it seems to me he had done more than enough by devising a plan and facilitating its execution. He went far beyond that, risking life and limb on the front lines for a land not his own. Perhaps he needed to be there for the ritual. Perhaps he felt a sense of duty. Even so, as honorable, uh, as noble as it is to desire to help others, what good is it if you end up sacrificing yourself? What was it that compelled Louis Swa to go to Cartanau? And what went through his mind as the battle unfolded? In order to, uh, to do this biography justice, I, need, uh, I feel a need to know these things. If Louis Swa had people near him at the time, perhaps he shared words with them in his final moments. Words that could provide some insights. But where to begin searching for such individuals? Assuming they exist. I thought he would have overheard it. Sorry friends, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. 
Just so happens, I know a bloke has served some Louis Suarez guard at Cartano. You do? Truly? You know someone who was with him? Aye, as far as I'm aware, he was keeping the fact a secret. Just for a good measure, though. Why does he want to, uh, why do you want to speak with him? Louis Swan's biography, eh? In that case, I reckon the bloke could be, uh, would be willing to cooperate. Orrin Guin uh, comes his name, and he was in a, uh, he was a lieutenant of the Maelstrom. After the calamity, he turned to adventuring, so he, so as to be sure to help the folk, uh, help the common folk. Uh, I lost my ability to talk like this. I don't, then again, I don't think I had it in the first place. A Maelstrom officer turned adventurer. We'd be most keen to speak with him. Where, uh, where, where might we find him? When Orn dropped by the other day, he said he had business in the Morabi Dry Docks. If you're lucky, it might be as he's still there. Understood. We're into your debt. We can't let this chance pass pass us by, Dexter. Let's take ourselves to the Dry Docks at once. All right, Dry Docks, it is. Thank you for your help, Batteron. Quest accepted. And I'm right back here again. I don't know why. Oh, maybe not. Nope, I'm right next to Butteron now. That's That was weird. Okay, teleport off to... Whoops. To head off to... Morabi Dry Docks. Alright, but well, where am I going right now? Oh, wait, no. Aha, I didn't see you over here. So, what do you want to look out for exactly? Right, where could Orm be? In hindsight, we should have asked what, he, asked what he looks like. His name would suggest he's a Midlander, but... Hmm. Well, nothing for it but to make inquiries. Let's split up for the task and meet up again here. All right, time to go search for Orn. Apparently, I can find him in a couple of places. So the shopkeep can tell us something. I'm sorry, but I've only just started helping out here. I'm still learning our customers' names. Oh, I see. I couldn't say if it's the prisoner you're after, but a man did come by earlier who appeared to be an adventurer. He brought in a Mia Lily that... Uh, he brought an Anamia Lily that we're currently trailing. Hmm. Okay. So now we have something else a little north to check for information. I went the wrong, wrong way around. I should have gone this way. Okay, Rogan and Porter. Or, as it happens, I spoke with him just earlier. He said that he wanted to buy flowers, so I directed him to a vendor. Not sure where he is of now, though. Ah, darn it. Okay, that would have brought me around to the vendor from before. And now... I need to find... Aha! How did I miss this veteran shipwright? Oh, because I would have actually passed right by and I wouldn't have seen him. Because he was on the other side of the stairs. Looking for an orange uh, Gwincom, you say? Don't know anyone by that name, I'm afraid. I did uh, I did walk by an unfamiliar fellow just now, though. Over by the mark of the spinner. He had a flower in his hand, so I, it, he so he caught my eye. Aha. You have an inkling as to where Orn might be. Time to rejoin Nanaji. All right, let's go do so. Oh, here you are. Still interviewing people, I see. Or gathering information. There you are, Dexter. Were you able to learn anything? Why, yes. I was able to learn, to learn something. So a man who could be Orn bought an Amiya Lily, then went to the mark of the spinner. If we're truly... Uh, if we hurry there, we might be able to find him. Let's go. Okay, good. I was going to say, if you're just going to walk off after, the, after talking to this person without thanking them, that would have been very rude of you. Thankfully, you weren't. Okay, now off to... Southeast of the dry docks. Oh, outside of the town. Okay. 
Aha! Over by a place that I've been to only once before. In order to find these fireflies. If he was, uh, if he was only just seen, he should still be nearby. Maybe he is? Well, I don't see him around yet, so I guess we just have to wait. Time to survey the area with Nanaji. Nananji, I'm realizing. So sorry. I've been saying our name wrong at the still time. Hmm. So this is important. Ah. This must be him. Begging your pardon, sir, but are you Lieutenant Orn Geekum? I haven't been a lieutenant for years, but I, that's me. What can I do for you? Hello, fellow marauder. Oh? I realize this is sudden, but... The fact that he gave that stare, I don't like that. So you're writing Louis Soi's biography and want to hear my account as to someone who is near on hand in Cartano. Yes, please? There must be a reason that you're here too. The warrior of light who led, uh, uh, led us to victory in Operation Archon. Very well. I'll tell you my tale. I don't think I was involved in that. I only just showed up a couple days. Wait. Maybe I wasn't. I don't remember. <gasps> that must be why everyone has such memory. That's why I don't also don't have memories of it. Because everyone else doesn't. Now then. Where to begin? Oh. As you know, the battle was fought over the land where the where Dalamud was expected to fall. In the beginning, neither side was able to gain the upper hand. But when the Imperials... <laughs> Random powerful mark showing up! Okay, sure! In the middle of this otherwise... Uh... Sullen moment? Sure. But when the Imperials deployed their Magitek armor, our ranks were thrown into disarray. Those charged with protecting Louis Swa, like me, could only watch the carnage from afar. And though our forces managed to hold out thanks to the adventurer contingent, we sustained grievous casualties. But the great, uh, but the real tragedy was what followed. As Delamud hurtled towards us, it began shedding fragments of itself before finally bursting open to unleash the primal Bahamut. As all below looked on in shock, the battle completely forgotten, Bahamut took wing and spewed fire all over the land. Men and Magitek armor alike were set ablaze and sent flying like so many insects. I only realized that I had stopped breathing when a commanding voice broke my trance. You've done enough, Louiswa told us. Now fly. Fly and save yourselves. But like my fellow guards, I wanted to remain. I couldn't charge into battle beside my, com uh, my comrades. At the very least, I could do my duty here and protect Louis Swa to the last. But, uh, but upon seeing us standing there, not making a move, Louis Swa smiled and spoke to us. If you would give your lives to protect something, then protect my hopes. Every soul who lives to determine their own fate is a source of hope, bright and brilliant. To live, I bid you, Oh, so live, I bid you, and be among those who bear the light for others to follow. Those words awakened us to a greater purpose. If there was hope in my living, then I would live as Louis Swa bid. No matter what, I would survive. And so, together with my fellows, I began making my retreat. Alas, we hadn't gotten far when an explosion erupted and sent us sprawling. 
I struggled to my feet just in time to see the enormous menacing silhouette of Bahamut looming over Louis Swa. In the next instant, he was enveloped in light, and that was the last I remember of him. Yeah, we saw what actually happened in the, op the opening cutscene. Louis Swa's final moment. Amidst that light, he looked to be smiling. What was he thinking in that moment, I couldn't say. But one thing is certain, we, we all of us are alive, thanks to him. Hmm. Following the calamity, it was reported that Louis Swa had defeated Bahamut and set about the land's miraculous regeneration. Do you believe this is the truth? He does. Every soul who lives to determine their own fate is a source of hope. Why are you staring at me like that? What I've learned was has reaffirmed my belief, Dexter. The belief that Louis Swa was not an all-powerful savior that one, uh, one reads about in tales, but merely an ordinary man. But that man never forsook Eorzea. No, he stood for his realm. Uh, stood for this realm to the last. He and countless other brave souls, and saved it from becoming a scorched waste. Against unimaginable adversity, he fought, and at, uh, at the cost of his life, paved the way to a brighter future for us all. The least I can do in return is to tell his story, spread his message that where there is life. There is hope. Thanks to your account, I believe I found an angle for the biography. I'm truly grateful. Oh, yep, that's what I thought was going to happen. Blaze at the Nemean Lily. Would you care to offer a prayer as well? The prayer that the light of hope which Louis Swa preserves shall ever burn bright. Nice, I really like that. Ow! Sorry, that was my headphones. The calamity left dear, uh, deep tears across the realm. There was no place that did not want for help to rebuild. After being saved by our twin outer allies, I decided to become an adventurer, the better to honor Louis Swa's legacy and lend aid to those in need. During my travels, I often heard your tales, and I'm glad I could share my own with you. Thank you. Allow me to thank you again for recounting our experience, uh, your experiences to us. Nay, tis I who owes you thanks for giving me the chance to share Louis Swa's words. All these years, I had avoided speaking of the moment of this passing out of respect, but I would not do, uh, it would not do to take the tale of my, uh, take the tale to my grave. Though the bi uh, through the biography, it is my hope that his spirit will live on in all of us. Now then. If you'll excuse me, I shall resume my pilgrimage to the watermark, uh, to the marks. Wherever your travels take you, I shall be praying for your safety. Nemea lilies, the symbol of safe passage. As Louis Sloss stood there in Cartano, I wonder if he likewise prayed for someone's safety. Based on the cutscene, I think he did. At any rate, these inter interviews have yielded everything I'd hoped for and more. Come, let us return to Ulda. I'll have your reward for you at Ulda in the Hall of Flames. Ah, so it's not ending here in 
Limsa Liminsa. Aw, oh, man. It's too bad I can't select that. Well, okay, so we are heading back to Ulda to finish this off. Let us do so. Okay, and then from here, back to the Halls of Flame. Da, 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 da. There you are. I ended up troubling you longer than I had intended, but it was a truly fruitful series of interviews. How fortunate that we could hear from those who lived that fateful time. While I still have many questions, the biography is beginning to take shape in my mind. I also feel as though I've attained a measure of closure. Louis Swaff fought simply as one of us, and he made the ultimate sacrifice that hope might endure. This I've come to realize and appreciate thanks to everyone's heartfelt testimonies. Now then, last but not least, I'd like to ask you for your thoughts on something. According to Orn, Louis Swaff smiled in his final moment. As he was enveloped in light, what do you imagine he held in his mind? Oh, what do I say? The image of mankind thriving? Or it's pointless to speculate. Um, yeah, he was, he was a big proponent of hope. So I'm assuming he was hoping, he was imagining things, you know, being hopeful. I see. I see. I appreciate your thoughts. As I pen the biography, I'll be certain to remember your words. Well... Sad, that is it, uh, sad though it is, it's time for us to part ways. I'll set, word on a, uh, I'll set work on a draft, and I won't rest until the biography goes to print. Thank you for all your help, my friend. I couldn't have come this far without you. Thank you! Preserving the future complete! Farewell, Ananji. The man, the myth, the legend unlocked. And also got that item, right? Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, end of an era framers kit. Let's use that. And done. I now have an er frame, er end of an era framers kit. Okay, so um, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I do have one other thing. Oh, wait a minute. That's a new icon. What is that? A Tenerent Moogle? Oh. Oh, 10th Anniversary Moogle. Moogle. Newest to regular Tomestone Exchange. What? Apparently, I need... Uh, Irregular tombstones with tenfold pageantry? What? Weird. Is there anything else I can do with you? Previous tombstone exchange? Irregular tombstones of bendacity? Hmm. Well, apparently I can't get any of this stuff. I don't know how to get any of it either. Past the regular tombstone exchange? And this requires irregular tombstones of... Oh, different kinds of irregular tombstones. Huh. None of which I have. Magic Prism Job Mastery? A particular contraption creates illusions by weaving together myriad sheets of light. Oh! Job Mastery for something. Model of... Wait, what? Model of a modern major job master. What? <laughs> um, okay. Strange reference to make there. Huh. Hey, listen, indicate your very model. Huh. Okay, so that's... Again, that's not related to anything I can do right now, apparently. So let's go see what this actual 10th anniversary mission is. We do so by talking to Keepy Jakia again. Oh yeah, Keepy! Hey, it's been a while. Siblings rising. Keepy Jakia is looking for a worried sister. And that music again. Ugh. Oh, if it isn't Dexter. It's always a pleasure, my friend. And how fortuitous that you should appear now, just when I'm in need of help again. Pray, hear me out. You see, my brother recently wrote saying that he, is wi uh, he wished to meet me in Ulda during the Rising celebration. However, the appointed hour has come and gone, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. I've checked all the likely places in the city to no avail, and I'm beginning to worry. If it isn't too much trouble, might I ask you to help me find him? Of course. I'm in your debt. Now, my brother is a youth of 16 by the name of Nagi. He recently became... Nagi? I recognize Nagi! He was from last year! He recently became an adventurer, something he had aspired to since he was little. 
Being an uh, being an adventurer yourself, perhaps you know of him. Uh, you know of him, if not if not cross paths. We did cross paths. Yes. Uh, wait. Ooh. Yes, I met him at the previous rising. Exactly. Not only did you meet him, you helped him on his way. You say. What an amazing coincidence. That being said, it doesn't necessarily mean you would know where he is now. If he isn't in the city, though, chances are he went outside on some business. To begin with, I propose that we split up and make inquiries in case someone has seen him. If you could focus on this uh, area, I'll speak, uh, I shall speak with those in the quicksand. Afterwards, let us reconvene by the entrance to the tavern. Okay. Time to go inquire to people about where Nagi went. First person to talk to is... Wait. That's just a mid laner rising attendant. Oh, I guess that is who we talk to anyway. Who who are these people? Nonara? Greetings, adventurer. As part of the rising celebration, we're currently preparing an exciting game for your enjoyment. It'll make a it'll take a bit little longer, however, and we ask for your patience in the meantime. Okay, so I have to wait to be able to play a game, and apparently there's a bunch of people just standing around for something. Hmm. Let's talk to this attendant first. Greetings, adventurer. How may I assist you? We're trying to find someone. Oh, Nagi. I understand he's doing some work for the Wandering Minstrel. Uh, yeah, that guy we met last year, too. I dare say his client can be, uh, can point you in the right direction. If you can track the man down, that is. I'm afraid I don't know his whereabouts at present. Okay, so he's not in the same spot that he was last year. So, where could he be instead? Let's find- Oh, <laughs> I was trying to do something else here. Let's find out where else he can be, then. Who do I talk to? Aha! A Highlander adventurer I can talk to. Hmm? Something you need? Looking for Nagi or the Wandering Minstrel? Oh, Nagi. Aye, I know that sprightly lad. Couldn't say where he is now, but last I saw him, he mentioned uh, taking on some delivery work. He's a curious one, he is. Gets along with everyone well enough, but doesn't seem to like working in a team. What, in uh, what with talk of bandits prowling the road of late, I can't help but worry. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we got one more to talk to. Where are you? Aha! Bran is who we talked to. No, we talked to... Yes, we talked to Bran. Something I can do for you, adventurer? If you've business with Bran, best state it quickly. This guy has leads to follow and intends to investigate for the Harbor Herald. I'm looking for Nagi. You seen him? I see. With apologies, I haven't seen this Nagi. As a matter of fact, I've been rather busy working on my upcoming piece on the Rising. Why, just earlier I was inter interviewing the ever en enigmatic wandering minstrel, who's got another unusual adventure on the on in the often the letter for, uh, the letter the letter forest he calls it. Letter forest. If that piques your interest, I recommend you go and see the man. He is at the Gold Court, over in the steps of Thal. It appears Nagi is carrying out some work for the Wandering Minstrel. If you talk to the man in the Gold Court, you should be able to learn more. Alright, let's do so! Uh, Gold Court, that is, yes, in that, in this just area. Just this next area. Yeah, right here! Letter Forest Tender. Greetings and welcome to the Letter Forest. Displayed here are messages of gratitude and, and encouragement which folk the realm over have been, uh, anonymous, anonymously written. Oh! So it's like that, that, uh... Is it similar to that Japanese, uh, thing? I can't remember what it's called, but it's the thing where they put their, their wishes up on a tree? I think so. It comes to no surprise, but no, f uh, no few messages, uh, no few messages are addressed to adventurers. Now we're still in the midst of preparation, but I should be pleased to guide you when it's in, uh, all in readiness. Please return it on. All right, so let's go talk to the wander. Oh, wow! I completely missed that this was the wandering minstrel. <laughs> ah, my dear friend, what a pleasant surprise this is! I trust you've been keeping well. Now then, how might this minstrel be of service? I'm looking for someone you recently hired. So Nagi's sister wishes to find him. Indeed, I have entrusted him with a task and have an inkling as to where he might be. 
As you may have heard, on the occasion of this rising celebration, I am hosting an exhibition called The Letter Forest. All are invited to uh, anonymously submit letters to this forest and express their gratitude and encouragement for another. <clears throat> Pardon me. Wow. And all may peruse the letters at their leisure. Now, in order to collect, uh, in order to collect missives from outside of Ulda, I've dispatched a chokeable carriage. Nagi's escorting said carriage. Ah. When he contacted me in Link Pearl a while ago, he said that he had in, uh, emerged from the Twelveswood on their way back to Ulda. Given the hour, they should have arrived already. Uh, should have, yeah, oh, should have already arrived. I know not what's causing the delay, but might I trouble you to look for them? I would go myself, except I'm in need here at present. I'm truly grateful. In case it helps, the carriage was meant to pass through Blackbrush Station, so perhaps you could take your re uh, search to that area. I pray that nothing has befallen them. I do too. Hopefully nothing has. All right, off to Blackbird Station once more. Off we go. All right, Nagi, where are you? Somewhere. Somewhere. That's weird. Oh, I was supposed to talk with Keepy first. Darn it, I didn't realize that, whoops. Uh, no, no, what am I doing? No, I need to head back into Ulda. There we go. I didn't even realize the mission required me to go back to Keepy Jakia. I thought it was just supposed to go looking for him first. Okay, back out here. Sprint all the way back to Jakia. Oh wait, where is Kipi? Oh! Oh, that's right, she wanted us to re reconvene in the tavern. That's right. Or in front of the tavern. There you are. Were you able to learn out of, uh, out of Nagi? He is apparently out on mission already. Escorting a carriage for the minstrel? So that's what, so that is the way of it. As suggested, let us take ourselves to Blackburst Station and try searching in the vicinity. Okay, now I can go off to Blackbird Station. Da -da 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 -da. So if I can speak with her specifically, rather than just doing a search first. Okay. And you are... There you are. Ah, we have Midlander Merchant here as well. <sighs> Need to get help. Oh, no, not good. Dexter! No sooner did, you, did I arrive that this man came running out of breath. You're an adventurer? Oh, thank the Twelve. It's the bandits from the uh, Quiveron Mance. They've fallen on a chocobo carriage over by the clutch. The carriage only had one guard, and he was sorely outnumbered. Please, you must help him. Oh, absolutely. That has to be Nagi. With me, Dexter. Aha! Here they are. Damn it! There's no end to them! We have you now, you stubborn little shite! Not anymore, now that I'm here! Enough! Leave my little brother alone, or twelve as my witness, you'll receive such a thrashing as you've never known! From this fearsome adventurer here, that is... What? Me! <laughs> Suddenly thrusting this on me, thank you! Th th that's no ordinary man! Retreat! Haha, -ha, so you know me. My reputation precedes me, even within the banditry. Are you alright, Nagi? Sister, and Dexter, too. That you should be the one to come to my aid. Thank you. Ooh, I can say, have you been, Nagi, or, um... I'll say, have you been? <laughs> you remembered. 
I've been well, more than well. I'm sorry I didn't come when he, I said I would, sister. Rest assured, I'm not too badly hurt. That's good to know. That's a relief. I'll take a proper look at your wounds back in the city. I must say, I was quite impressed, uh, quite surprised to learn that you had met Dexter. He, he, he helped me when I first arrived in Ulda. From registering it as, as an adventurer to completing my first task, he kindly showed me the ropes. Now, I had suspected that you were a great adventurer, but to send your foes running without even drawing your weapon. That's just incredible. I still have a long way to go, embarrassing myself like that, like I did. If I want sister's approval, I need to grow stronger and be able to fight on my own. My approval? Ah, but first things first. Brennan and I have a delivery to make for the Rising. I assumed that was Brennan. I recognized him, but I forgot his name. I'm so sorry. If you'll excuse us, we have to. Uh, we will hurry back to Ulda. Let us head back as well. I had a mind to pay the minstrel a visit in any case. All right, friends, let's go. All right, I've spoken with Keepy Jaka back at Brock Burst. Now what? Oh, I'm right back here now. Here's Keepy. Thanks to you, Nagi is safe. Still, what he said about making it on his own weighs on my mind. Yeah, I would get that too. Sister has, uh, was none too gentle dressing my wounds. Perhaps she's annoyed I didn't show up as promised. Eh, probably. Welcome back, my friends. Pleased I am to see that Nagi is safe and well. Rising attendants inform me they now have all the letters. With this, we may proceed with the letter forest as planned. Thank you, Nagi. I'm sorry I'm late. You see... Were it not for Dexter, there's no telling what might have come of the letters to and Brennan. In the end, I was utterly useless. So that is how it happened. As Nagi's client, allow me to thank you as well for coming to his aid. Thank you. That being said, my boy, you were far from useless. Nay, you bravely defended the carriage until help arrived. There's no need to belittle yourself, so. Well, Dexter didn't need to rely on anyone. He drove off the bandits with nary more than a stern look. I couldn't hold a candle to him. Like him, I want to be able to deal with my any problem without help. Otherwise, I can't claim to be an adventurer worth his salt. Ah, there's his problem. Without help? Tell me, Nagi, all this time, have you been working alone? Even for dangerous tasks? That's right. A worthy adventurer doesn't rely on others. If I'm to be the kind of adventurer you approve of, I must be able to handle anything by myself. I see. If that is what you believe... Then I can't consent to you being an adventurer any longer. Return to our village and start over. But what? B but you were so happy for me when I became an adventurer. I'm working so hard to succeed. To prove to you that I have what it takes. But now... You've developed a grave misconception. Until you realize what that is, I can't in good conscience approve of your calling. If you can't accept this, if you wish to remain an adventurer, then you must win me over. And it begins with pondering why you first embarked on this path. Alright, sister. I'll think on this. I 
I see he got the wrong message. Well, shoot. It appears Kipi wants her brother to rethink what adventuring is to him. Had the question been posed to you, what answer would you arrive at, I wonder? Hmm. I'm sorry you had to see that, Dexter. Despite how it may have appeared, no one wants my brother to succeed more than I do. To succeed and be happy. After all, I know better than any how hard he works. Unless he changes his ways, however, he's like to die somewhere out there. And even if he manages to stay alive, he would only know an arduous life. That's why I didn't go out of my way to be gentle when dressing his wounds. Oh, I see. If you could just focus on what actually matters. Instead, he obsesses about gaining my approval and compares himself to others. <sighs> okay, assume there would be... That couldn't have been the only thing. Okay, same thing. So, what's new, Keepy? What drives us? Keepy Jakia is again looking at, uh, looking at a worried sister. If truth be told, no matter what Nagi wants to do, it's my intent to support him. It's his life, after all, and no one else's. It isn't my place to interfere. But be that as it may, if he's sabotaging his own aspirations with his obsession for my approval, I can't simply stand idly by and watch. Loath I am to impose, until my brother has found his answer, might I trouble you to keep an eye on him? Please, take it as a request from me as well. Ever has, an advent ever has adventuring been dangerous, and it's more dangerous still for one who spurns help. Like Keepy, I do not wish for Nagi to continue on this current path. As a fellow adventurer, please help him find a better way. I shall. Thank you. Now then, on a related matter, I must pay a visit to the Weaver's Guild, but I will see you again anon, if you'll excuse me. Nagi set off this way, so you may uh, may find him at the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. We'll leave him in your capable hands, my friend. Thank you, sir. Okay, we're off to the Sapphire Avenue Exchange to go see if we can find Nagi. Let's run! Make it a bit quicker. Whee! Whee! Jumping because I'm bored. Jumping because I'm bored. Jumping because I'm bored. Where are you, Jockey? You are- oh! What the- what's this? You move closer to the light, it begins to grow dim, as if retreating from your presence. Perhaps you should reconsider your approach. What? What the heck is this for? I've never seen this before either, I don't know what this is! Oh wait, is it related to- oh, it might be related to the treasures, because I think this was also something over at the waterfall I saw before. Huh. Well, for now, I'll have to worry about that at a later point. There is Nagi. Oh, it's you, Dexter. What is it? I was asked to look after you. Is that so? I'm sorry. This is really something I should be doing alone. Still, it's nice to have someone to talk to. Like my sister bade me, I'm pondering why I chose to become an adventurer in the first place. Keepy has looked after me since I was no more than 10 after our parents passed away. She was already a reporter by then, and her work took her to various places. From her, I heard tales about adventurers and came to admire them. Upon learning of the full extent of the impeding calamity, she took us to a village in the mountains where we, our aunt lived. It's desperate times like these that people need stories of hope, she used to say. And I believe she had wanted to remain in, in Gradania and continue her work, but she left in order to keep me safe. I was, uh, I was a burden to her then. I didn't want to be a burden to her again. For that, I needed to, sh I need to show her that I don't need to depend on others. That's uh, that I'm a capable adventurer who can handle anything by himself. Ponder as I might, I can't understand what's wrong with that. Well. When I doubt, I supp uh, when in doubt, I suppose I should do what adventurers do and gather information. It would be good, I think, to speak with people like my sister. People who aren't adventurers, but are familiar with them. Hmm, but who and who da would fit that description? Oh, okay. 
How about the face of the Adventurers Guild? How about the local purveyor of information? Or how about a business with extensive dealings with adventurers? Oh. How about... How about a businessman? A person who's done business with them. You mean the House of Splendors? The place that offers quality gear in exchange for services? I had better not. Horror stories are rife of people who make the mistake of indebting themselves to the house, becoming forever indentured. Oh, okay. Instead, how about Miss Memori, the face of the Adventurer's Guild? Oh, pff, of course, that makes sense. In her capacity as Guild representative, she's bound to have some valuable insights. I'll seek her out at once. Whoa. Okay, walk through me, sure. All right, now we have to go to the quicksand. Actually, I can just go this way, can't I? Nope, not that way. I was looking at the map wrong. I need to go through here if I want to do that. Because this leads me into the Adventurer's Guild as well. Ha 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 ha! I are smart. Okay, so where did you... There you are. No. Oh. Nagi, I thought you were going to talk to Momodi. She's right there. I just passed her. I still remember when I first came here to sign up. I was a nervous wreck then. But now this place feels like a second home. And I come all the time for crumpets. They make them so springy and serve them uh, drowning in butter and honey. Is, sorry, now isn't the time for that. Come, let's have a chat with Miss Momodi. Well, now if it isn't Dex, if it isn't Dexter and Nagi, to what do I owe the pleasure of both your companies today? I was hoping to get your advice on a certain matter. The misconception you've developed about being an adventurer. That's an interesting one, I have to admit. Try as I might to figure it out, I keep going around in circles. I thought you might be able to offer some insights. Hmm. This is just a gut feeling, but I reckon I understand what your sister trying to say. Tell me, Nagi. Suppose you fail to get your sister's approval. Would you simply give up on being an adventurer? Would it all become meaningless? From this here counter, I've uh, I've indeed seen off many adventurer, each and every one unique, with dreams and destinations all their own. But in spite of their differences, they all share something in common, a reason for first embarking upon their journey. Dexter, would you mind telling us why you chose the adventurer's life? Oh. I wasn't expecting to actually give an answer. Uh, I wanted to see the world. It seemed exciting. A friend recommended it to me, or <laughs> or it's a secret. Um, I did in fact want to see what this game ha what this game and this world has to offer. So I will say, I wanted to see the world. <laughs> How very like you. Keep that reason close to your heart now. You hear? And you, Nagi, what inspired you to become an adventurer? It's simple, really. I heard about adventurers from my sister and became infatuated with the lives they led. Like them, I wanted to be able to see the world while helping those in need. Then, isn't that enough? Your sister's approval or no, you have a reason all your own. By the twelve, I see now. At some point, my desire to prove myself to Kipi had displaced my own motive for being an adventurer. That's the misconception Kipi wanted me to recognize. What a fool I've been! 
Wanting someone's approval isn't wrong in and of itself, mind, but it's got nothing to do with why you're an adventurer. It shouldn't force you to do things you wouldn't otherwise do, like trying to handle everything alone. Well, that's enough for me for today. I've said my piece. What you do now is up to you, Nagi. Thank you for helping me realize, Miss Momodi. Think nothing of it. It's my job to watch over you all. Nothing makes me happier than to see you happy, doing what I, uh, doing what you do. <laughs> that was nice. All right, so now we have to go. Oh, yeah, speak to Nagi again. Oh, it's Nagi ya, not Nagi. Hmm. Thank you too, Dexter, for accompanying me. I think I know what to say to Keepy now. And loath I am to, uh, to trouble you again, there's something else I'd like your help with. You see, if the letters we collected from in Limsa Lamensa, one was from an explorer who was, uh, who was seeking an escort for an expedition. By now, that letter should be on display in the Gold Court. I want to show it to my, my master, and I'd be grateful if you could help me find it. Come, let's rejoin the minstrel. Okay, okay, let's do just that. I have to head back into the gold court. All right, Minstrel, where are you? Same spot? Yes, you are. But Keepy is not here. Now, where is that letter? Let's see if we can find it. Ah, welcome back. Dare I hope you are able to find the answer? Yes, I'm happy to say. Miss Momodi helped me to become uh, helped me to come to re a realization. And when I go to speak with my sister. I see, I see. By all means, feel free to borrow the letter. Does it have uh, does it have any distinguishing characteristics? As I recall, there was a large drawing of a blue chocobo on it. Blue chocobo. Very well. Let's all search together. The more swiftly to find it. Sure thing, boss. Oh, now we gotta go search. Oh, hi guys. A great many of these letters bear the words of thanks for adventurers, a testament the, to the good that you and yours do out in the world. Dear kindly Mikoti adventurer, thank you for helping me to find my mother. I was scared at first, but you made me feel brave. I had lots of fun at the Gold Saucer, and it was even more fun because of you. I hope to see you again. Please take care. Why, it's the lost child from the Gold Saucer! The staff were tied up, so I helped to track down the mother! <laughs> what a fine feeling this is! Ah, very nice. Okay, so... Ooh. Well, I know exactly what I'm looking for. Let's go see what else we have first. Uh, anything else around me? Aha! We have a letter with a chocobo carriage drawing. Dear not-so-new adventurer, as a traveling merchant, I've had my fair share of happy encounters, but sharing a carriage with you stands out above them all. For you see, I want to, uh, I went to sell veritable crate loads of the ring I gave you, and, I, uh, and turned out enough of a profit to buy my own carriage. You shared, me with your, uh, you shared with me your adventurer's luck, and I count my blessings every day. No matter where I go, I often hear tell of your exploits. And it makes me in, uh, inordinately proud to have met you. Till we meet again, my friend, I pray for your continued safety and success. While the contents, uh, while the contents ring a bell, this letter wasn't written by an explorer, nor does it bear a drawing of a blue chocobo. It wasn't the message Nagi's looking for. I know. I just still just wanted to read what it said. I can interact with it again, but I don't need to. Okay, so let us take a look at the next letter. One with a quill drawing. 
It's too tall for me to reach. I can't reach it. Esteemed adventurer, should you chance upon this letter, I pray it finds you well. Much time has passed since you helped us to rebuild in the wake of the terrible disaster, but we still remember you most fondly. Our lives continue to be hard, and every day brings new challenges. Nevertheless, we have regained a semblance of what we once had, and smiles are being, uh, our smiles are beginning to return to faces. Tomorrow will be brighter than today. This we dare to believe now thanks to you. And should you yourself face hardship, I pray that you believe the same. Yeah, yeah, no, not, I know it's not the one I'm looking for. Still wanted to. One with a shield drawing. As someone charged with the city's peace, I cannot overstate how much of a boon adventurers are to our efforts. Some folk had expressed concern that an increase in drifters would be a corresponding rise in crimes. But on the contrary, they're steadily declining. Soldiers like ourselves are somewhat limited in the scope of our duties, and we're not always available to lend our citizens what assistance they need. Thus, would I take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude to adventurers who step up to fill the void. Hmm, very nice. Is there any more on this side? No, I don't think so. So, next one is... Is it the last one? There aren't any more after this? I guess not. Okay, time for the one with the blue chocobo drawing. What does this say? Dear adventurer, how fears your journey? Mine continues, and I wake up to the sound of birdsong and lie down to sleep beneath the moonlight as I seek unblazed trails. Long ago, when an adventurer aided me, I was made to realize how alike we are. Deep down, we're simply travelers who thrill to make new discoveries. Thus do I write this letter now, in hopes of recruiting such Mike Lyde souls to join me on an expedition. If you at all share my desire to make the Uncharted Charted, then I invite you to seek me out in the drowning wench in Limsa Lamensa. Eagerly do I await your coming. This letter recruiting adventurers bears a drawing of a blue chocobo. It must be the missive Nagi's looking for. Yeah, there we go. There really was nothing else, right? Yeah, it was just those four. All right. No luck over here so far. How about you? I did manage to find a letter with a blue chocobo drawing. Adorned with a hand-drawn picture of a chocobo, this letter invites adventurers to take part in an extraordinary expedition. Oh, exploratory expedition. A blue chocobo. Yes, this is the one. All that's left then is the talk to Nkipi. Do you know where she is? She went to the Weaver's Guild saying that she had business there. Huh, perhaps she's buying clothes. At any rate, I'll look for her there. Thank you. Walk through me? Almost. For this too, I might trouble you to accompany Nagi. Afterwards, I ask that you tell me how events unfold. I shall await you at the Ruby Road Exchange. Alright then. Okay, so now we have to go to the Weaver's Guild. Which is off in this direction exactly? Yes, exactly. Nice. Let's go! So there's Nagi, but where is Keepy? Must be inside. You're here too, Dexter? I must confess, I'm feeling rather nervous, so I appreciate your presence. Oh dear, you came to find me? My apologies for taking so long. So, Nagi, were you able to find the answer? Aye. To begin with, I want you to look at this. An explorer is assemb uh, assembling an escort for expedition? Certainly sounds exciting. In wanting your approval, I was de determined not to rely on others, but a part of me dearly wanted to be part of the expedition, to go where I dare not set foot alone. So, I've decided I will answer the invitation. Ah, then this means you'll give have given up on trying to do everything alone? 
I had wanted to prove to you that I'm capable, that I'm no longer a burden. And in my, in my obsession, I lost sight of why I became an adventurer in the first place. To see what lies beyond the horizon and lend a helping hand to those I meet. That's what drives me. And I was able to remember this thanks to Miss Momodi and Dexter. And whether or not you approve, I want to continue adventuring for my own reasons. Is, is, is that alright with you? Didn't you just say you didn't need my approval? <laughs> but to be clear, I never actually intended to stop you. Do you remember what you did, uh, what you once told me, Nagi, shortly before the calamity struck? Did you inter uh, did your interview adventurers again today? What were they like? What kind of places did they, had they been to? <laughs> you never get sick of hearing about adventurers, do you? Never, ever. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer, too. Well, that's a fine inspiration as any, but do you know what kind of adventurer you wish to become? A hero like in the tales, perhaps? Oh, no, sister, not a hero. Adventurers are free spirits, and I want to be the freest spirit of all. Oh, yes, I'll travel the world and meet lots of people. And when I visit home, you can interview me as much as you like. <laughs> oh, I see. For that boy to spurn help for want of my approval, I couldn't bear to see it. And in order to bring you to your senses, I may have spoken a little too sternly. As an adventurer, you'll likely experience no small amount of hardships. But you chose your path because you wanted to be free. So don't let yourself be shackled by expectation, be it your own or that of others. And instead, take things as they come. So long as you're true to yourself and recognize your limits, you'll surely find a way forward. And remember, not even heroes can accomplish everything alone. Relying on others doesn't make you a lesser adventurer. If anything, the freer we are, the more we need to look out for one another. And that, I believe, is the essence and beauty of adventuring. Wouldn't you agree, Dexter? Wholeheartedly, or a hero needs friends as much as anyone. Yeah. Understood, Keepy. I won't ever forgive the, uh, forget this. <laughs> Not ever forgive this. <laughs> Knowing you, I expect you're raring to answer the explorer's petition in Limsa Lamensa. You'll be taking an airship, yes? In which case, I shall give these garments to you now. I had them made for you, thinking it was past time you had something better. Oh, new armor. For me? Thank you so much, sister! I must thank you too, Dexter. You're the kind of adventurer I admire, and I'll keep on working hard to be like you. Well, hopefully not exactly like me. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better person to watch over my little brother. I appreciate everything you've done for him, and I look forward to meeting you again, be it for a story... Or something else. With that, we take our leave of you. Till next time. And there they go, out into the ether. You see the siblings off, safe in the knowledge that all will be well. Time to rejoin the wandering minstrel and relay to him the tale's happy conclusion. All right. I think I can do just that. <laughs> Ruby Road Exchange, here I come. Where is the Ruby Road Exchange? Ah, the stuff's an old. Right, of course. Okay, I was trying to think of the quickest way to get there, but the quickest way would actually be to just probably just to run through the central area, wouldn't it? And I run out of sprint. Darn it. Oh, interesting. The the things are still here for me to read. Is there any more? There's the carriage one. 
There's the quill drawing, the shield drawing. Nope, it's just these three. Huh. All right, then. Ah, this is where you met the minstrel for the last event. It was from here. There you are, buddy. Welcome back, my friend. Judging by your expression, I take it all is well with Nagi and Kipi. Yeah, how'd you know? Oh yeah, you read it on my face. I see. I'm pleased to hear that. When we first set out on our journeys, it is usually for the simplest of reasons. Yet as we make our way, those reasons may become lost in a haze of motives, causing us to lose sight of what truly matters. In such a time, if we can but remember what promised, uh, what prompted us to take our first step, we will always find the strength to take the next. Nagi shall be fine, I'm certain of it. My thanks for keeping an eye on him. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's going to play another song. These events have inspired a new verse in me. A verse about the dreams of those who seek new worlds and the hopes of those who see them off. Just one note. And here we go with another stomach ache. Whoa. I'm on an airship now? And there's no pilot! Where in the worlds? And why in the worlds? Greetings, warrior of light. Hi, who is you? This is a world that exists outside of your reality. Could it be a dream? A flight of fancy conjured by your weary mind? Perhaps, or perhaps not. That's cryptic as all get out. Oh, okay, so it is who I thought it would be. Cool, tis a pleasure to meet you again. As I have in the past, I have beckoned you here that I might express my gratitude. Ten years have now passed since the world has been reborn from its ashes, since we set forth upon this journey. Countless things have, sh uh, have happened, I was saying shaped, happened during that time, and I've had the pleasure of meeting many an adventurer along the way. If truth be told, it, wasn't all it hasn't always been easy. There are moments when I wonder why I must struggle so, days when I'm tempted to cast it all aside. Sounds like you're being overworked a bit like, uh, soccer I was. But in spite of this, I always manage to carry on, and it's thanks to my wonderful comrades, and to you, our esteemed adventurers. By now, I must have been regaled with tens of thousands of your tales. You usually share them with a smile, but even when it's with a frown, you tell me that you're still enjoying yourself. Tis no exaggeration to say that I derive all my driving force from you all. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Ours is an unending journey, and nothing would make me happier than if we could keep walking it together. As you make your way, we promise that we will ever be at your side, matching you step for step. I'm a little behind given how far in, con in the content they are, though. Now, the time has come for this vision to end. Time for your eyes to open from this waking dream. Much time has passed since the world was reborn from its ashes. Countless souls have made this place their home. Every single one has left an, an indelible mark upon it. Ooh! A phoenix? You're not the color scheme I was thinking. I was thinking more orange than red. Together we've built this world. 
and is our sincerest hope that we shall continue to do so for many years to come. So please, be safe and well. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal. Thank you, Yoshida-san! Bye! See you next year? Yeah. Hi, I'm back. I dare say Nagi is aboard the airship by now. I pray that he and Kipi will find happiness upon their respective paths. I hope so too. I hope you do as well, my friend. If you would lend me an ear, I would dedicate these verses to your future. Another song? By morning light the journey starts, a trill of hope within our hearts. On westerly wind, oh river to river song, into the world where we belong. Oh, he's wearing his new outfit. Neat. Both fields of white and azure sky, sunsets form a crimson fire. Jewels a glitter on pitch black veil. A new day dawns, so goes the tale. By eternal wind we carry on, boldly towards a golden morn, with memories as a guiding star, shining our steps both near and far. Ah, there are the fireworks! I was wondering where they were! Where you will go, whom you will meet, what you will see, there's no telling what the future holds for anyone. Yet come what may, I bid you never forget this. The bonds you forge, the memories you make, and the footprints you leave behind, that shall one day spur you forward. So pray continue walking your own path. Wherever your journey leads, I shall be praying for your happiness. There it goes, right through the fireworks. Oh no, look out! With memories shared, yet all your own, as one we brave, uh, as one we brave frontiers know, unknown. Wow. Thank you for ten years. Man, ten years since this game was out. Holy hell. I only started this two years ago. <laughs> what drives us? Complete! Oh, whoops, I forgot to see what items I got. You now have access to the letter forest of the gold court. Speak with the tender stationed there to read the letters. Additionally, you also have unlocked the Koopo Koopo Adventure minigame in the steps of Nald. Speak with Nonara at the Ruby Road Exchange to play. Aha! This along with uh, with other minigames may also be played by opening the toy chest in any inn room. Nice! A decade of adventure! Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go see what the, those items were that I got. Rising Phoenix Whistle. Hot to the touch, this hand-carved whistle emits a lively thr uh, thrill that summons a rising phoenix? I got a phoenix mount? Dude, awesome. What's this? Nemea Potpourri? Made from the alchemy treated in petals of Nemea lilies. This fragrant bottle of bundle of potpourri brings a sense of tranquility to even the most troubled souls. Let me back out a bit and see what it looks like. Oh, nope, wrong one. Wrong one! There we go. Use one. What does it look like? Ooh! Pretty! I like that. Neat! Okay, so, you know what? I got like 15 minutes left. So let's go see what this minigame is. Hello, everyone! Whee! Jumping down the stairs, jumping down the stairs. Now, where are you, Nono's? Uh, there you are. Greetings, adventurer. Are you here to test your skills in the, in the excitement of Koopo Koopo Adventure? Why not? Uh, what is Koopo Koopo Adventure? 
Koopu Koopu Adventure is a glamour-generated game in which you control a Moogle arms with a magic rebounding ball and do battle with hordes of fiends. Oh! It's a block brick game! A brick 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 break game! That's what I was thinking of. The game was apparently developed by a fun-loving en uh, engineer. I don't know the individual personality, I'm afraid, but it's my pleasure to attend to those who, uh, who wish to play. If you have a spare moment, then by all means, give it a try. Yes, I would love to. Excellent. Let's get you started at once. Please enjoy yourself. Okay. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to look exactly like the opening to Final Fantasy 1. Uh, start game. Stage 1. Oh, what? Wait, what? Um... Interesting. Oh, so it's an RPG kind of game, it looks like. Uh, select action? Deals damage to a target in front of you. Deals 10 damage to all enemies in an area. Ooh, 8 squares in front of you. Restores HP, works a predictive barrier, and... Grants automatic revival. Ooh, for the duration of the effect. La uh, takes 99 turns to recast it, though? Hmm. Let's not worry about that yet. Let's, uh... Da -da 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 -da. So here, whoops. That's not what I meant to do, but okay. Um. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Let's do Star Storm. Uh, let's da -da -da -da. Oh, it only hits a specific area. Oh, eight points away from me. Okay. So let's try this. There we go. And then, can I, oh, can't do it again yet because I need to do waste. Oh, wait, wait four turns to use it. Okay, I see. 20 damage to a target, so let's target this bat. And then you. Oh, interesting. Oh, so action. Hmm, interesting. Huh. Okay, let's try a different action then. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's tr uh, don't worry about the re-race yet. Let's do... Don't need to worry about that yet, I don't think. So let's try this. Oh! Oh, they need to be hit a certain number of times in order for the effect to work. Oh, okay. So, let's do one against you. Aha! I see. I see how this works now. Okay, so I need to be able to hit... I currently have... Oh, BP repair since how many times I attack. Okay, so let's try this. There. Oh! Wait, I got both of them in, this, in that thing? What? How'd that happen? Uh, okay, let's try Palm Star Storm now to get rid of all these guys. Yeah! And then... 5 BP so I can take care of you guys. Why did it take care of the guy in the top row? That's weird. Hmm. Let's take care of you first. I sense a powerful presence. Uh... That doesn't sound good. Let's see. Deals damage to target in front of me. Let's take care of this guy with that. There we go. And then take care of these. Well, not all of them, unfortunately. A fearsome fiend has appeared. Oh, no. How much damage does this do? 10 damage. So I'm able to do a little bit of damage to the Ultros right now. Uh, I have to wait a turn, though. So let's just take care of as many as I can for now. Let's take care of this guy and the Ultros behind it. Okay, now let's do this. Nope, not, not what I wanted to do. Wrong button. Ow! I took damage? That's weird. Okay, let's do... Oh, oh I, was, I was thought I'd been able to take care of both of those at once, but no, let's take care of these two at once. And now hit you. There we go. Defeated. Um, okay, uh, how about I erect that barrier now? And now start attacking you guys. Oh, that's what happens. The bomb deals damage to enemies around it. Okay, so let's uh, fire. Oh. oh, wait, can I not use it? Oh, I don't have enough MP. Oh, okay. I can't charge unless I do something about these first. Yep, I get MP back. Let's take care of that. Ow, jerk. Okay, so take care of... Let's do 
It's too bad that- Oh, I don't have enough MP for that. I don't have, don't have enough MP for anything here. Uh-oh. Interesting, I took care of the guy next to me with that. Weird. Okay, took care of that one at least. Now- Oh, ow! Okay, player turn. Let's take care of you with a f palm fire. There we go. And then- Oh! Oh, I didn't realize that they took up multiple spots. Oh, I probably could have taken the both out at once then. And one more. Stage one clear. Nice. Okay, so stage two. How bad is this going to be? Oh, boy. Okay, so... Ooh, you move? Oh, that's weird. If you move back up, you do not. Darn it, I thought you would have moved back up. Woo! Okay. That's dangerous. Ow. Yes, that is dangerous. Okay. So can I... How many of these can I take care of at once? Ooh! I could... Oh. I'd be standing in front of this cactar to do it, but I can do it. There. And then... Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, um... No, I don't want to quit yet. What I want to do is... Oh, I don't have enough MP now. Okay, uh, let's take care of... Ow! Oh! I didn't realize that was there! Ooh! Let's take care of you. Or at least try to. Ow! I took damage. That should be okay! I should be okay! Uh, let me act... Oh, Asuna. Effect of Doom? Oh, remove the dungeon rental effect except Doom. Uh, ooh. Invulnerability to floor effects. Ooh. Uh, let's do... Oh. Effect turn... Oh, wait, does it only affect... Oh, did the ward only work for one turn? Oh, I see why. Okay, so let's, uh, palm fi Oh, don't have an F MP for palm fire. Never mind. So let's, uh, take care of this guy. Not enough damage. Oh. Wait, I think I... Uh-oh. Okay, um, I need to be able to remove that. So, let's do that with Palm Asuna. Okay, so if I recall, actually, I need to... Take care of this. Yeah, that increases my BP. That increases the attacks I do. You missed. Okay, so let us... No, I don't want to quit. I want to be able to use... I don't have enough MP for that. Darn it. I was hoping I could have done something. Ow. Nope. Not what I want. <laughs> I just walked right into those. That was dumb of me. Let's restore some of that. Thank you. And do some damage to those. That This is going to hurt a lot. I wasn't paying attention to how I was supposed to do this. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ow. I can't move up or down either. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do it this way. Um, let's try to get you as best I can. Great, I got this again. Ow! Stop that! Okay, I think I need to use levitation now. I do not have enough MP! Oh, no, this is horrible. Um... Let me just do this, then. I can't do much else. Oh, there's a lot of enemies on screen, and I can't deal with them all at once. Whew! Oh, boy. Powerful presence again. Ow! Take care of you first. I wasn't... Wasn't enough to destroy the bomb, though. And I think I'm gonna be... Yeah, oh, jeez, I didn't realize. There were three cactars in the way there. I didn't see that. I think I'm dead. I might, I might be dead. No, I'm not dead. There's the fearsome presence. Oh. <laughs> Just standing on that thing caused me to die. Ah, oh, man. You know what? I'm good. <sighs> okay, quit. Well, that was some experience. So, um... Yeah, I'm thinking at this point, this is going to be... Yeah, thank you for... <laughs> Wow, I can't even think straight. I think that's going to be it for me for today, for this whole thing. I, was, I wasn't expecting to get, get as much done as I did, but I did. So, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I... Hmm.
Not entirely sure what I'm gonna do next time. Hmm. It might be doing some stuff with the crafters, but it might be more side quests. I don't yet know. But until such time, thank you so much for joining. Well, ah, can't even do this properly. Until such time, thank you so much for joining me for this evening. And I hope that you have a good night. As well as a good 10th anniversary, apparently. Woohoo!